Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video today we're starting a new journey on the 500k series ladies and gentlemen it's no longer going to be the 500k it's going to be the million dollar series we owe the bank a million dollars so we have four years to make a million dollars so let's see what we can do so right now we're on the way we gotta go pick up some seed so i'm coming from where we were at over there in moss and it's sad to see we had to sell that farm but actually there's our current farm right there right now we're heading over to the dealership they have my trailer with some seed on it and some fertilizer and all kind of good stuff that we're going to need to go ahead and get started this winter uh the original farmer that was farming this he just let everything go ahead and uh, wither away so we just got to hurry up and get stuff going i mean it, what i was seeing you know, is it just had snow on the ground yesterday so we're doing pretty good didn't know there's no snow got some herbicide some fertilizer some lime up top oh yeah we're doing pretty good so we're just gonna go ahead and take this back to the farm and rule this old ford filling that go ahead and pull on that here make sure what's coming which yesterday i stopped by the farm real fast i put up the Kubota. i got rid of all the other tractors and went with newer tractors that was in this area because it just been too much to transport all of them here and it was more cost efficient and plus i got rid of the majority of that farm i had someone go in and offer me a pretty hefty price all righty here we are ladies and gentlemen to the new farm this is a cattle like dairy farm or thought not we're gonna do some dairy um we're gonna do some fertilizing spreading we're gonna do all that good stuff but as of right now we do have something we need to go ahead and start doing i did go ahead and get another case magnum got me a couple new trash some of these trashes i thought that came with this came with the farm this grinder came with it a lot of this hay equipment came with the farm uh we got pretty lucky the, the grain wagons over there came with it so i didn't have to bring my grain wagons back we have that there i purchased that and put it on here the holy grail the missionary in here you have our feeding stuff for cattle you have our disc you have our case i ate shirt combine uh, i kind of really like this one uh, this right here will do us a lot of good work or something like that but today we're actually going to take the 8110 we're going to start her up here and uh, pull her over here to the side just so we're not in the way we got to pull that disc out because we got to do some disking of land today by the way there's what we're going to be using to plant with i figured that would have been an upgrade compared to what we were going to use all right ladies and gentlemen let me get the kabot over here real fast and we'll bring it back once we get everything figured out all right and we got that pulled out right now we're gonna go ahead and come over here towards the fields uh we own a large majority of the fields actually let's stop here real fast look at the map if you look here this is everything we own a lot of this is planted we gotta go in here and cultivate all this with the plow get a lot of it we gotta get these two these two are big ones that i was really wanting to get done today shouldn't be too hard something pretty easy to deal with let's go ahead and head on over here there we go we are now cultivating so we'll go ahead and just bring it on down through here and disc up the ground make her look all pretty and we might actually need a bigger tractor what i want to do is here pretty soon once we get all the cultivation done and planting then the next few episodes will be nothing but planting and cultivation but once we get that done i really want to start working on some hay get some silage done uh there's some people i've been talking to about getting some silage mixers out here even maybe even getting like a bunker at some point we gotta go ahead and back it on up here or her down and just start pulling doing a really good job looks like let's look he's cutting up the bean stalks pretty well um there's nothing really to complain about coming out of me at this point the farm overall just looks beautiful out here like this is a beautiful land maybe eventually we're gonna cultivate some of this uh unused like grass or something because we don't need this much grass but for the first year i kind of want to not do that currently i want to kind of keep it as much as i can to this agriculture state just because that's what the farmer before me did the next year when i get up i'm gonna maybe get like a bottom row plow uh, after the harvest we should be able to like make it some of these fields into one actually once i get done doing this patch right here i want to kind of get out and kind of see what kind of work this disc is doing see if i need to concave them or not uh because i haven't ever ran this before this was the other farmers she looks like she's running deep enough uh, it looks pretty good to me what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pull us to the top of the field actually but we're just gonna keep on going which we're almost done with this field or something like that. so we're gonna finish this up right here i'm gonna turn around do a quick u-turn get over there we don't want to bore y'all so give me a minute and i'll be back all right now that we're done that field right here we're gonna head across this grass uh we're gonna go past 81 and then we're gonna hit 82 real fast and hit it up uh this looks like it was corn so we're gonna go ahead and just diss this in ain't nothing too hard which that's what we're gonna be planting by the way ladies and gentlemen is nothing but corn and soybeans uh maybe some cotton here and there uh but we're just gonna really have to get the money to be able to do some cotton farming and right now we're getting the rest of this field done right here making it look all pretty we're gonna head down here and do this middle field that's actually pretty much just all this is is putting it in the ground dealing it drilling it out making it look all pretty we'll say one of the tires are looking low so i might have to change the tire 
tire here pretty soon so we're just going to head over here we got to pull out the farm wall first this right here is going to be like our auger tractor and this tractor just to move stuff around the farm with today she's just going to be placed over here out of the way um because we got to do a couple things i'm going to eventually get like a dryer set up and we're going to have all kind of things she's also going to be here to move like this type of stuff around for us okay so now that we got that we can get the old case ih magnum out the 8950 back on out she has more horsepower than the other tractor does so it should be perfect for this kind of field work which eventually i want to get like a bigger tractor so i might trade in like a tractor to get like a bigger version something that's not going to struggle at all with this uh, implement there we go now we have an implement not struggling i figured it was doing that a little bit so it's just one of the things you got to deal with in farming sometimes the equipment's not powerful enough like you think it is today we're getting this done there'll be a piece of cake to get her done just struggle some but not hardly as much as i believe it was give me a second i can pull the spec sheets on my phone so the case is 260 and the john deere is 165 keep on going here keep on moving as best we can make this field into some light work which this field right here i think i've already decided what it's going to be i think it's going to go straight into beans again uh because the beans didn't really do anything to it i mean we're putting those beans right back into the ground so we can put this straight back in the beans uh the corn we're gonna put some of them in the beans we're gonna put some in back in the corn it's pretty much do a mixture of stuff i'm um, also i want to do at least one field like a couple of like these rows i thought that of wheat so i can get some straw bales because we're planning on buying some cattle unless i decide just to buy the straw bales because if you look here on the dealership uh straw bales are pretty expensive but they're not terrible we're almost done with this little top portion up here i mean this truck right here is making it quicker work than what the john deere was doing i'll give it to the case i've never been a huge fan of the case ih but i mean you gotta give it the case ih credit now, sadly there ain't no monitors eventually we're gonna do some upgrades to her because i don't think she's fully maxed out uh looks like we got another field of i want to say oh it was beans we did this field pretty fast some will hire a worker uh one local boy i think his name is daniel so he told me he knows how to run our trash so we're gonna let him do some of this work that right there is one of the pastures i think we do own that pasture we might put some horses out in it do some stuff like that but uh ladies and gentlemen we're gonna keep on moving on here getting this field done and next episode we will be starting planting Ladies and gentlemen, I made a mistake last episode. We also own field 66. We own a lot of fields that we need to do work with. Uh, but first, before we do that, we got to pull out our planter. So we got to start this tractor up right here. Um, we got to start the 81 up. Just have them preheating up or something like that. I also, ladies and gentlemen, I've been looking real fast to see what I can look for another planter. Alrighty, so this is where we're going to look for the planter. This right here. This is a cedar. This would be great for soybeans. We could rent one from the local co-op. The uh, online tells me it's about 3,000. That's what I'm leaning towards, but we don't really have a trash that can pull it. Unless, well, actually, yeah, we do. Yeah, the 47 should be able to pull it. I know this tractor right here definitely wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, my bad. And we have the other one. So, yeah, we should actually be able to do it. Let's real fast. Let me jump into here. Back her on up. Get our planter hooked together. All right, she's attached now. This right here is a 12-row planter. I can't wait to be able to use it, be able to put some stuff in the ground. Because first thing we're doing, we're putting corn in. Actually, go ahead and lower this down. We got to get an old Kubota here. And do some more strapping here in a second. And get us our pallets. Because the pallets are the actual corn. What we're going to do, I'm going to lift that out of the ground. So, John, we'll stop right here real fast and kind of show you where we're thinking. This field right here, these fields right here are going to be corn. We're going to open this up. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of back it on up and out here. This is an automatic one where... It it shuts on and off as you need it and we are planting ladies and gentlemen we are putting seed in the ground but i'm not going to do all this field of course by myself i'm gonna hire a worker i'm gonna get jim out here to help us today uh daniels is probably gonna help us later with the other planter but i figured this would be perfect job for us for right now to do a little bit of this planting ourselves i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do too much of it i want to do like a good little pie make sure the cedar is doing it deep enough uh everything seems like inside the track cab is going pretty good we'll go ahead and continue going down it tell you in a second if we're going deep enough all right here i am over here yeah take my knife out so she's putting down at the right rate and she's she's a little high so we gotta change a couple things in here in the monitor i want to go down a little bit deeper all right now that i changed that i need to go down here real fast like some of these concaves a little bit or some of these things that's in the back closing disc gotta move that up one all right so let's throw, hopefully be able to go ahead and go all right so we gotta keep our eyes on the monitor at this point i just let it go straight and uh let the monitors do their job so we gotta make sure that we're not skipping the seed rate looks really well coming out so we'll go ahead and just continue doing what we gotta do and make sure the ground's getting planted it's gonna take us a couple days probably to finish up planting season and while i'm sitting here doing this i'm actually go ahead and sit here and go online real fast all right there it is 
But I'm gonna go ahead and hit order and rent that tractor. Not not tractor, that uh cedar. And I'm gonna call Daniels over here to help me out with doing the seeding. Cause we got a bunch of soybeans we gotta put down and I think a cedar would really help us out. Go ahead and continue doing what we're doing. Hopefully nothing else occurs like any clogs, everything like that. And I mean, we've done three successful passes. Everything looks at the right depth. As long as everything stays at the correct depth and we just continue putting in a good amount of seed. We'll have this field done in no time. And once we get Daniels going, um, Jim should take this over and I got to do a couple things in town because I'm thinking about seeing if getting an extension alone to be able to buy the, buy the cattle. There we go. We're just going to keep on going down here. What I'm going to do is once they get down to here, I'm going to kind of skip over this uh, green the grass part, which we've got a lot of grass to cut. I'm going to have to look into getting some things to be able to do hitch or something. Or I might lease it out to other farmers, get what I need off of it, put it all up in the barn and just be able to go from there. There we go. She's reinstated back over here. And after they pass that bit of grass, they'll automatically turn back on because this uh, GPS already knows the field boundaries. The other farmer, he was uh, grateful. I was grateful for him to give me all of his field data everything that on to these tractors. Um, he was nice enough to give any and all field data I needed. And of course, it's only have the ones that we need activated because he has the field boundaries. I'm probably going to go back and uh, redo the field boundaries pretty soon because I don't like the current field boundaries we have. I feel like we could do better with field boundaries. We are done. We just have to go on the opposite side of this. I'll kick it on one after that other. So we're just going to keep on going up and down the field. It's pretty peaceful out here today planting this corn. Um, the Everything looks like it's doing a really good job. Nothing really to complain about. But we're going to get the hired workers out here pretty soon. I'm going to throw my drone up here and kind of let them do what they're going to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoy those quick shots of the John Deere doing his do. Um, right while we're sitting here letting him work, we got to run and go get our new cedar. Because what we're going to put in it is we're going to put soybean seeds and we got to do a lot of seeding soybeans. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these soybeans right here. We're going to cut the grass here pretty soon. Uh, we do have a mower that we're going to use for it. And here we are now pulling into the dealership area. There's our cedar we're going to be using right here at the John Deere dealership. Nice little quiet place right here. Bunch of broken down tractor, if I've been told. They, uh, this is not really a hot spot for John Deere anymore. They kind of lowered it down. They're trying to bring it back, but right now everything that stays here is already bought. So this right here is already pre-ordered, actually. I'm sitting here in the cab, but up here on my box and kind of change what seed it's one. All right, so now we have it set to soybeans. Thanks to my little handy dandy box. Actually, we need to get a monitor here pretty soon. We'll worry about all that later. If I'm not mistaken, this puts down liquid fertilizer well. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of our fertilizer done so we're able to sit here real fast and look at what all is what um a lot of this needs that of course is a second application okay so we've got everything we need more real fast to just go across this right here maybe a little rough but hey it is my feeling this is actually the field we're starting with planting with soybeans if this goes pretty good with this planter which this planter should look really good uh we should definitely not buying it most likely no promises there's some luscious green grass right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and there we go. We are now putting seed in the ground. As I said earlier, most of these fields right here are going into soybeans. As in all, honestly, we don't need a whole lot of corn. Soybeans do sell for a little bit more, so we're going to try to get as many, uh, as much of the soybeans as we can, but we do need to put corn now because of the corn header that I specifically went and bought. Uh, I bought my corn header from a guy who, I think his name was like Grant or something like that, and he got his older corn header like, he, like they have. So, and I just painted what color I wanted it to look like. But it's a really nice header. Um, everything looks really good on it. I bought it from him. It's an older header for what I've been told. But that Grant person, he was really persistent about it. It's a really good header. And so I'm, all, I'm inclined to believe him. All right, now we just gotta continue going around the circles. Because this is, of course, a direct drill or something like that. It don't really matter. You don't need a rose because the bean headers, the way they're set up, they uh, cut it from the, they cut the things on anywhere. You don't need them in direct rows is pretty much what i'm saying which is what we needed but we will go ahead and keep going with this 
keeping these turns going this is i believe is actually a really old piece of equipment right here i'm using from the co-op three grand for it really though that's interesting i guess they knew we needed it but hey we'll get our use out of it give it back to the co-op make them clean it We'll keep on going ladies and gentlemen nothing pretty much more other than this uh what we also do need to worry about eventually is we need to need to, we do need to worry about making sure that everything is fully fertilized before the harvest comes up making sure we have all the solid fertilizer put down and any seeds we have left over we need to put that up which i don't think we have enough seed currently yeah he's working over there on that that's where this planter skipped a little bit we've worked on it a little bit he's got doing pretty good but when he's working on that, we got to do this field, this field, these, all these over here. It's going to be a couple of days, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep on going back and forth, though, making it look pretty. All right, let's stop for a second and look at the field. We'll do 68, 81, 84, 85, corn, 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 corn. So we're going to have a lot of corn. This will be soybeans. This right here will be wheat. So we can go ahead and continue and get everything going over here, which I did purchase a little bit of wheat seeds. We can buy hay. You know what? We'll, we'll buy our hay, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see a point in just making us uh, straw bales we'll buy our straw bales because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to plant anything that produces straw so if we're not producing straw we might as well make it profitable and just plant some soybeans over there if everything stays up like it is uh, i do want to potentially bring in a hired hand uh some people from another farm of mine i'm not going to bore y'all with this for a little too long we'll come back once i get a couple of these fields done all right ladies and gentlemen we are now done with planting for the day we got a bunch of more fields we're going to be planting with soybeans tomorrow um we're heading in jim is done he left the tractor for me where he left his truck and he did a lot of work i did a lot of work today uh he did field 66 and all that over there got it planted with corn he, we're gonna have a lot of seed left over ladies and gentlemen but we got a lot of spraying still we have to do and a lot of throwing fertilizer so right now ladies and gentlemen i'm just gonna kind of park this right here ain't got no cattle or anything now i'm gonna turn her off and real fast we're gonna run down there and get into the side of the john deer all right and now that we're in the cab of the tractor we're able to drive back he didn't use a whole lot of seed but that monitor right there is broke he used a lot more than what that monitor said he's filled it up once or twice already and so thank lord he got that done so now we're able to say we got these fields done over here that up there is being soybeans we're doing every field that's left that's soybeans yeah you got 66 and all you got these three right here that are corn and this right here will be soybeans soybeans but we'll, we'll plant that tomorrow ladies and gentlemen i might go and get jim to go ahead and go ahead over there and do that before we head out for the night good morning ladies and gentlemen today we are getting straight off the bat and we are getting straight into farming i changed everything over this planter over to soybeans well last night i was sitting down looking at the map realized this field right here is supposed to be corn i made that mistake um i did finish out a couple more fields off camera that field got finished uh of course and so we gotta get this done today and then we gotta get that done today in soybeans so we're going go ahead and take over our corn planter and go ahead and take that over there uh we're also looking at selling a piece of machinery i'm thinking about getting rid of our current case magnum because for some reason the dealership just won't let me put any road crop tires on it i've tried talking to them and they just won't budge on it and so we're possibly going to move on and move away from it ladies and gentlemen here we are at our field we're gonna go ahead and lower down our planter i might also get rid of this planter it's not been really the best planter for corn um um, so that's something we're gonna look at at the end of this year which we need to also make sure we're making plenty of money for this year because there's a couple things i want to invest in some land would be really nice several things like that is what we got to look into um i'm gonna get george out here though to finish this field i'm gonna of course do his headlands for him like i always do and i'm gonna get george out here to actually do the entirety of the field because we've got to start planting soybeans today we're gonna be planting that field over there or actually we might we might put george over there we might let george do this field and we do that field do the edges of that field and we'll finish this field out but yeah this is pretty much what's going to be for a little bit um this tractor is very underpowered for what it is it is very difficult and we're going to be able to hopefully see what it comes out of it um this field right here since it's so slanted everything like that we've had some drainage tiles put in during the winter the owners did everything like that so we'll go ahead and talk and we'll be able to hopefully look into see what we can do with it what was that why did i just lose all power on the cab come on turn back on oh lord i can't hit the button all i want not turn back on um ladies and gentlemen that's not good she's she's not turned on anymore i mean i can get back up into here kind of show y'all she's instantly turned off there's like no battery on it i mean you can turn the screen off for a second i mean it just won't turn on i don't know what that noise was ladies and gentlemen but i think the 81 and the 8110 is done for ladies and gentlemen um that's, that's not good um i'm gonna go i'm gonna come up here and i'm gonna hit a button in here so 
quick release button for the uh for the hydraulics or something like that just so i have the quick release on it so it's down into the ground and so we can potentially have ladies and gentlemen that's uh that's interesting i don't i don't know what to do ladies and gentlemen what we're gonna do real fast is i'm gonna call a buddy or two of mine and see what we can do by getting this uh tractor moved all right ladies and gentlemen the uh truck just showed up uh, i got on the phone with them immediately after i left y'all and uh they are now over here uh he left to go take something he told me to get in the truck real fast and uh kind of go ahead and try to get lined up for him but uh they're gonna take this all the way back to the dealership and the dealership said that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be interesting for me because i'm looking at close to a couple grand i've already paid had to pay 17 grand for this sucker all right we gotta put the struts out let's uh pull up the map or in the informational seat all right ladies and gentlemen it took a lot of battling but we finally got the planter separated you can see them the tire marks it's raining it's cold uh that we finally uh, sat here to have a couple paperwork or something like that. uh they have her attached here they're going to take her to the john deere dealership now um they have the winch attached there thought like that they need it and we're just going to kind of let them take it on to the john deere dealership and we got to go up this don yeah whew, i'm tired ladies and gentlemen let me set my truck for a second kind of talk y'all because it's raining that's for him. uh let's start my truck up oh never mind i'm gonna start with starter um back it on up but uh right now ladies and gentlemen this is going to the john deere dealership uh they're gonna kind of talk me through a couple things and let me know what's going to be going on with the tractor and what all we need to do they're gonna go ahead and take john deere and we gotta get some other tractor probably gonna get the case magnum and bringing this home i don't know what we're really going to do with the john deere until the dealership tells us what it's all going to be to get it fixed which they should tell us later today all right ladies and gentlemen they just took off with the John Deere tractor. Uh, the Case IH dealership's going to call me in a minute. We got to run back to the base and, well, base camp, aka the farm, and pick up our Case IH Magnum. Bring that out here, and she should be able to pick up the planter and bring it in. It's raining too badly to continue planting today. But we're going to go ahead and run over here real fast, get the uh, John Deere planter taken out of the field, and we can return it back to home base and be able to figure out what we're going to do from there. Alrighty, here we are. We're pulling up into the base camp. Um, we're on hitch the i wonder if i got the 47 uh hitched up to anything currently or can be hitched anything it's got duels on yeah i hooked up this i can roll fastly uh quickly pull that pin all right turn it on and this is a little bit easier right here because they don't have no monitors or anything like that i don't really don't have to worry about this one uh this one right there i would have to worry about we're gonna kind of go over with fields with this one it's just not a good day for us ladies and gentlemen all righty we're pulling into the field now um there's our second field that we've yet to plant even though it's looked like it's planted it really shouldn't look like that but weeds have taken it over this is where we started a plant or something like that um i'm on I'm gonna see what I can do about getting this planter uh, looked at, make sure there's nothing on the planter that's stressed out, because what I'm getting told is this looking like it was an engine. And right, then we're gonna get back here, Good attach it. All right, there we go. Fold these up. Um, They said it looks like an engine and transmission problem, and so we'll kinda see from there. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we're pulling back up here to the farm right now. It's rainy, it's wet. I just got a call from the dealership, and they told me that they are they want me to come by and they want me to basically look at some of their trashes they have to offer that they said it's from a shot but they're gonna give me a really good return on return on that trash because apparently it's one of the valuable tractors actually i'm gonna go ahead and just stick this underneath on that seed i'm glad they're sitting in plastic bags because i don't know what we would do all right we're just gonna kind of stick that right in there for a second but we're gonna jump into our pickup truck right here and go look at go look at the tractor, talk to a representative, and see what he really says. Cause if they tell me it might be more efficient for me just to sell the tractor plan as day, I'll sell it. They said they're gonna give me a really good price for it. So we're gonna go look at what the price is. There she is. Got her disconnected here. Let's set there inside. Let me ladies and gentlemen, let me real fast clear. Let me turn my truck off. Let me go inside. Let me go talk to the the dealership guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry my word. I'm, I'm just this is ridiculous this is my workhorse of the farm and kind of talk to him see what our options are going to be it's been a couple months um i ended up finished planting with the case ih magnum and she did a really good job the girl did everything we needed her to but she struggled to pull this planter ladies and gentlemen i just i just can't lie she struggled to pull the planter she just didn't have the horsepower needed and so i've been looking around trying to see what i can find i did get a seventy thousand dollar check for the old tractor but i think it's gonna be worth it let's 
go ahead and jump in the truck here. Turn her on. Let old girl warm up. We actually gotta go hitch up to our trailer over here, which actually stopped real fast. If you look here on my map, um, we did go ahead and get 79 planted corn and 80 planted soybeans. So everything's planted. Been growing for a few months. So we gotta go today actually to go pick up the brand new, or not, well, new to us. We gotta go pick up the brand new tractor, or the new to us tractor today. And uh, we're gonna take the old trailer out there, go pick it up, bring it back. Um, then today we will be starting on some hay and I want to use this tractor in the hay project. If I just gotta get down here, this trailer right here does not like going down. The trailer hates this part. We gotta go wide as can be, because if not, she gonna rub against the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and take the trailer up to the dealership real fast and get what we need to get done. Ladies and gentlemen, if you at any point in time uh, see yourself coming back and watching my content, please leave a like, subscribe, and do what you know how to do best. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, if you look over your hook, there's a peak at it. It's not the best tractor in the world, but it's going to be a tractor for us. All right, we're, we're going to pull up into here. Got our trailer hitched behind us still. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. And I know you're going to say, isn't that the same tractor? It is not. We had an 8110. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an 84. 410. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an upgraded horsepower tractor. Has different things on there. We can put duels on her all the way around. Uh, good size PTO. Good hitch behind her. Like, this is going to be a real built tractor for us all the way around. And this is a perfect year model. 2002 year. So it's nothing too new, but it's not too old for us. Got it. You get in her. She starts up. She drives around. She does it. She goes a cool 24 miles an hour. I really enjoy her. I think she's going to be really fun to have on the farm. But before we can get her to the farm, we actually got to load her up on the trailer let's get in the truck and uh put the tailgate down or not the tailgate the uh well i call it tailgate hit that button all right she's on the ground all right let's climb back under there we go we're gonna just slowly drive her on up she should fit on here pretty comfortably as long as those front two tires fit the rest of it should we're gonna kind of put her a little closer to the front as of right now and yeah strap her on there and there and there and there you go ladies and gentlemen we have our new tractor ladies and gentlemen we're, we're actually gonna get to use this out there in the field today because we gotta do some hay today we gotta start getting our hay put up uh we haven't done nothing for hay or anything like that so it'd be nice to go ahead and have all that stuff getting started slow down that pitch there you go that's gonna help her out a lot sometimes i forget to lower that pitch center down and it makes it a little harder for a tractor to want to stay on there and it just makes a high center point and that's the last thing you need in a truck and trailer she's on there pretty fine though that's what I'm gonna do. Talk to someone who worked with me. He suggested, whew, this grass is tall. Come on. Oh, we must got stuck in some mud. There she goes. The old Ford's going. There she goes. Come on. They said it's not too wet, so I should have been able to bring it out here because I know if I bring it up the, high, the other way, it's going to scrape with this much weight. Come on. Come on, old girl. There she goes. She's wanting to come now. We ain't going to go too fast because she's probably about to start slipping. Uh, we definitely got to get some uh, pesticide, not pe well, pesticides out, of course, and some herbicides out. So we go ahead and start getting that stuff. Come on, old girl. There we go. I'm getting out of field now. There we go. Come on, come on. There she is. On to the home base. All right, let's go ahead and pull right about here. Shut off the truck. Go ahead and hit the button. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and unload this tractor right here. Got to take her time. I don't want to go down too fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. There she goes. All four feet in the air. Now what we're about to do, let me hit that right there. And kind of put a little bit in gear. Because we got to come over here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to pick up the mower, which is sitting right there. And we got to go ahead and take the mower out to the fields. Go ahead and start getting stuff cut and prepared. Because uh, this se off season, uh, I'm planning on combining some fields. There's a lot of fields I plan on combining. And I want to get some grass off it while I can. Or alfalfa, whatever it is. And we're going to kind of start with this field right here. Which side is it going out to? first all right so before we start heading out of thought that we're gonna go ahead and pull a little bit close we're gonna pull into this field engage pto make sure it's low down to the ground kind of drive around a rough shape we're gonna leave a little bit of a buffer around not too big of a buffer because we don't want to cut corn but i mean we don't want to lose our yielding profits off this grass we do got a venture here pretty soon within the next month uh start figuring out what we're gonna do with cutting uh well not cutting with spraying these fields so both these fields right here both have got to get sprayed at some point in Another. and right now what we're gonna do is we're only gonna we're not gonna really gonna cut all of it because i mean that's just way more grass than anybody needs um part of this stuff i've had offers from some local farmers to uh let me let them come cut the grass and i've told them that i'm gonna think about it i think some of these feel because i'm not gonna do all this grass on myself ladies and gentlemen it's just ridiculous i think we can do a large portion of it yes but i just don't think it's anything that we need to really concern ourselves with um every bit of it and that's just because i mean we've only got 
got such a big operation. I mean, we don't even have cattle yet. And these are farmers with cattle, and they could use a little bit of the break on paying land taxes or something like that. So we're going to definitely probably, well, we're going to definitely at this point, let those farmers uh, be able to rent our land from us or from me. And uh, we're going to kind of let them do that so we can have more money or something like that. They're going to be paying, I want to say roughly, the farmers I've talked to today said they're going to pay 20 grand and they're going to come cut it during the winter. And so they said, as long as I leave it whole and I don't put the first cut on it, like all this I'm doing right here, I've already told them that I'm going to do a cut myself. Because, I mean, I have all this hay equipment. I mean, you, just, you can't expect me not to do a hay cut. And he was like, that's understandable. So the farmer understood that uh, we had to take care of us a cut of hay. If we didn't, I mean, we'd be ignorant but he just he wanted to have a majority at 20 grand not having to put our diesel into it i'm fine with that ladies and gentlemen because this right here is gonna be a big task as it is like we still gotta bail it up uh put some of it in the silage some of it in the regular hay which eventually i want to put like a silage pit somewhere actually on this field might be a really good point part or i know that farm up there is coming for sale eventually but we gotta pay our loan off maybe another maybe another few years we can buy that up there which by the way ladies and gentlemen if i didn't mention this before uh the bank will be taking 50% of all the income off of the fields once we har once harvest season comes. We're going to have to look at everything. They're going to take 50% of everything we make from this year and next year. And then the next year, we just got to have them completely paid off. We have three years to do it. So loss of machinery is everything that we have to have everything on point. I know what I've been told is this is a really bad county. Uh, the hills are thought that. And I know with, by the way, the uh, transmission, what was broken and the engine. So I've already figured out that the hills around here will kill a tractor very easily and so it's kind of rough for me to be able to know that and continue wanting to push with this loan but i have no other option it's my credit on the line so we're going to continue doing it and we still got to spray these fields or something like that it's actually really nice to be able to get inside this tractor really overall a great tractor drives peacefully um even though it's a 2002 model i believe uh you can correct me but if i'm not mistaken it does say it's a 2002 model brilliant tractor all the way around i really enjoy driving this type of a tractor around uh it's a little bit better to me than the 8110 that we had i mean i don't get me wrong ladies and gentlemen i really did enjoy that 8110 it's just it's sad to see it was such short-lived um and then on top of that i was talking to the tow truck guy and he said that there's just oil spilling all on the ground that he had to go and clean up later it was just not fun so there's no telling if there was any oil spilled out in the fields i've had it looked at can't tell of any if there was it's was minor so we'll just kind of see but yeah ladies and gentlemen uh we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this right here finish up this field real fast and we'll be right back all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and back this up real quickly here. Have this hitched up. We're going to go ahead and take it out there to the field. Uh, the mower's out there right now. I kind of went and just kind of left it out there. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of wind rowing. We're going to row everything into the middle. I don't know if I turned it on. These tractors hate this hill. All right, there we go. Now we can go ahead and do the lever put down. I don't care if we leave some like on the edges, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Make sure we're getting everything picked up as we can. The best that we can get picked up, at least. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue sitting here going back and forth. I went ahead and pulled that out. So the time we're done with this, we'll be able just to go ahead and start on that job. Because we're pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. We look really good. Uh, everything with the farm equipment list looks, looks great. Uh, I'm leaving everything running right now. This was a pretty big task. We're not going to go ahead and do all of it. We're going to leave some of it to dry. I want to do like a couple of rows there. Thought that we're probably going to do like three rows of that. And we're going to go ahead and do like a bailing test. There, thought that and make sure everything works as it should work. There, thought like that and make sure everything looks all pretty, uh, neat and organized on the baler. Make sure that she's tuned as she needs needs to be uh we're also gonna take this mower into the shop and uh hopefully get it worked on a little bit i think one of the blades are dull i'm not 100 percent positive but it is possible because all this equipment is not of course brand new equipment i mean this is all pre-bought equipment this is all on the farm when i first bought it and so we're just gonna be able to take it what we got all righty here we come down to the last pass of mowing for a little bit uh we may not mow this a second time just purely based off of what we got left to we still haven't sprayed our fields and so that's uh important information and so we still gotta spray fields we still are behind but this is something that could not have waited any longer to do we're gonna go ahead and rush this up here to the top we are now 
We're going to park it in the bay it needs to be in. We're going to park it all the way in the back for right now. Not like it really matters. I'm going to hate harvesters because everything is shut down in front of that. It's only this right here for right now. Uh, we're going to blare everything out of there. That's going to be fun duties. Now, this is where things get injured. I do have row crop tires on this, but I don't think that's the right thing to use. Then we're going to kind of pull the 47 out. It's been a little bit since I used the 47. She's mainly going to be our planter tractor. Not planter. Uh, Our sprayer tractor and so i guess you can also hook up to the baler too i don't see why not so we're going ahead and have this run in there thought not and actually i'm gonna go ahead and shut her off and um, we're gonna put up the 84 just so she's not sitting out in the weathering and so we can just make sure she is safe and sound for right now and she should definitely be way more equipped so we're gonna shut her off right here um we're gonna have to go through her later we do sometime have to go through this harvester not right now to say there's no real like big push to get her finished but let's go ahead and run back to over there and get some rows uh incorporated all righty here we are back at the tractor let's kind of real fast look at everything make sure that looks like it's going good put it in a one solid row looks good looks great jump on in here and just come on keep it going if i'm not mistaken you can go pretty fast with these things that's a little bit faster than what you can go with the other but since we're not doing a whole lot i'm not really gonna push it too hard we're just gonna do a couple of rows i want to say like three to four and just like look at the bail quality take it up to one of my friends that does silage making to let him be able to tell me what we need to do to be able to put him in some bales uh and a silage maker and hopefully produce some silage with it because if we can't produce silage i plan on getting cattle at the in this year and so if we can't produce silage uh we're definitely gonna have to produce it with some corn or something like that i get a buddy of mine to build us one of those silage pits which i really don't think we want to do but if we have to we will so we're just gonna keep on doing this right here she looks like she's doing a phenomenal job phenomenal job all the way around uh the rakes are moving around really well everything looks like it's doing really good for especially as old as this piece of equipment is i couldn't ask for her to do no better no resistance uh and if there is a resistance i can't tell which is the best part so we're just gonna keep on going which i'm not even gonna really keep going that direction that's kind of where i'm gonna cut it and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back the other direction now start going back this direction we're gonna do one more of those actually maybe two more of those just so we have four it we'll do two more rows like this looks really well like this it produced a lot of good grass for us today like i'm very grateful that the god provided us with this and so this tractor definitely is too like nice older tractor i mean dream tractor right here drives like a dream uh you would want no better tractor for like a smaller task like this i mean if this was like a bigger one of course we would have went with a 74 or the 47 um uh, but don't need that you don't need like a whole lot of horsepower need something lower down and that's what this tractor all around is and it's only a 76 7600 i mean it does everything we would want it to do and some really so i really don't see us moving from this tractor possibly if we get the right offer we'll move on from this tractor i mean if we were to look into a different rake or something like that we'd look into a different tractor but right now i mean perfect size rake perfect size tractor all the way around so we're going to keep on doing this for a second and we'll see you back here once we get closer to the end all right we just getting finished right here with the field and uh we're going to do that right there go ahead and fold it and ladies and gentlemen for right now i mean we've done a lot this episode so far and we've got tons more to do and so i'm gonna cut it up over a few episodes we still have to uh do some bailing over here we gotta do this bailing this is definitely going to be interesting i've never bailed with this bailer before so it could be out of tune could be in tune um i need to check the wrapping net we gotta do some spraying definitely i might hire a kid to come help us do some spraying and so yeah all righty ladies and gentlemen welcome back we are going to go ahead and pick up where we left off we have some grass bells that need to get picked up i'll stop for a little bit and went and got me something to eat enjoyed myself for a little bit let the grass uh dry out for a little bit and so we're going to kind of start over here it's not going to make too many bells i mean i would be highly surprised if it made bell a lot of bells but we're just going to kind of roll through here pick it up very easily and just really enjoy it so the baler looks like it's doing a really good job so far i do have it set up for its biggest setting and so we just gotta kind of follow this watch the little meter down there 
and full. There we go. We'll go ahead and hit the button. And there is a cotton bale. I mean, not cotton bale. Hay bale. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I was going to ask y'all, do y'all want to see me do a uh, cotton bale? Y'all want to see me do some cotton picking or something like that in this series? Uh, what all do y'all want to see me do? I mean, leave in the comments. And we're going to try to do it as much as we can. But right now, everything looks like it is doing really good. All right, we've also, we got a spray. We have to do some fertilization. Uh, we have a spreader for that. But we're coming up here to the end of this row. I want to say we might make about four bells for the end of this row, for one row. So that would be actually really good with as many yards as in each one. That's a really good bell. And we'll go ahead and start putting them up and uh, talking to some people about getting some of these bells possibly sold. Because I do know we have the herbicide and the uh, fertilization to be able to fertilize what we need to fertilize this year but we don't have a whole lot of L's. Alrighty, so we're just going to be uh, taking this off right now uh we've produced a lot of bells i really don't know the exact number there's no monitor in here i want to say we've reached 14 bells most likely by the time we're done with this um but when we're gathering up here later we'll be gathering them up and uh putting them up and when we do that, we'll be able to get a really good count. All right, there we go. I'm backing on up here. All right, we're just going back and on up in. Put this right here because we still got to start fertilizing. And if we're doing, fer I mean, I fertilize, well, yeah, fertilizing and we still got to do the other. So we're going to go ahead and drop that there. Pull this out here just so we're not in the middle of the way or anything. Shut it off. And she's done for right now. I got to get this sprayer right here. Uh, We'll use this tractor right here. So I got to gotta get in here. Turn her on real fast. Drive her out of the way. Come over here to the Case IH Magnum. Pull her out. There she goes. She started up. Now we can get her out. Put her right about here. And this is the tractor, by the way, we're going to be using for fertilizer for the solid fertilizer. Should be the perfect fit for it. And now if getting here. Going back her on up. Shouldn't hang up on anything. And she comes right out. Now we just got to back her up here for a second. All right. So we're just going to get inside of the Kubota here. We got to get to these right there. Ooh, let's see if we can get these two pallets at one time. All right. So now we got the bell spikes hooked up. We're going to kind of just drive it onto the trailer here. Make sure we lift it up so we don't scratch the trailer. Kind of put this right here with the axle. Slow that down. Shut that off. Strap that down. And we're going to kind of get in the truck, start her, have her pick up the lift with hydraulics, and she's good to go. She'll go out, we'll take her out to the field in a little bit. All right, so we're going to use this for beans. Uh, the beans are definitely not too much, too far along for this. Um, I'm going to call my buddy that does this, and we're going to real fast see what he can do about getting me a John Deere sprayer or a Case IH sprayer, whichever one is more affordable. I'm hoping it's not going to be too much. If it's too much, we might have to take a loan. Does not have any weeds. So that one doesn't have any weeds. Now this one right here does. We'll kind of just turn on the sprayer and just do our bypass. Uh, it's only going to be a couple passes. So ladies and gentlemen, while we're doing this, let me uh, call a buddy of mine, see what we can get for the corn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while well, I kind of stopped here for a second, to talk to my buddy and figure out what all there was that we could do for sprayers and we just don't have enough so i talked to the local dealer and they said they'd give me a pretty good price for that tractor we have hooked to the fertilizer spreader um and so i'm thinking we sell it in all honesty um i think we get rid of it because we just we can't afford to keep it uh because we need that money and of course that money would give us over the amount we needed and it would help us in longevity so i think that'd be our best bet yeah we're going to, have to do that ladies and gentlemen let me uh spray this right here and then go look at those fields right there and make sure neither one of them need to get sprayed so now now these are all pretty much ready to go we'll leave these alone we'll jump into our tractor and head on we'll head back to the farm and uh call our buddy up because we also have to pay for when he comes we have to of course give up our stuff or something like that to let him be able to fill it up and then we will do the work ourselves but we're just bar renting the tractor from him even renting the tractor is very expensive and we really need to put some more roads in these roads that we currently have are just i don't really i don't like driving over the grass like we are and so we gotta cut some roads out here pretty soon which i might do with a mower so we're going to load up, we're going to unload the Kubota and we're going to load up the other, take it down to there. Actually, we might leave the Kubota on there. We're going to take off what's in front of the Kubota because I want to pick up another implement. 
because we have two options we can sell this right here i want to sell for about thirty-two thousand, or we can sell this right here for about 17. i like my i like her and plus we're gonna need her for running the auger and it's just it's more worth it to get rid of this one right here because this right here is nowhere near as useful as these three right here and we can get away with a lot more with that all right so before we do that let's run over here i hate to see this tractor go but sometimes that's all it takes is you have to have it sometimes you just gotta let stuff go this was one of the incidents where we just gotta let them go and so we'll sell it for thirty-four thousand, which is a lot more than what we would have got so we'll go ahead and sell that Alrighty, well the case H sprayer just got here and they want me to come out here and pick up the mower so we'll go ahead and pick these up Wish they'd quit parking them all the way over here and they wouldn't just, I wish they'd just deliver them straight to my house, but hey, they made me wait here. I also filled out the paperwork while the truck unloaded it. And so I have it for a total of one day. And I think this is around some, I think it's like 9,000 per extra day, which we're only keeping it one day. We don't need it more than one day, which we have a bigger question at hand. Straps put on is I don't think she will actually just climb up in her. By the way, this is the KHI 8 Patriot 350. Beautiful looking tractor beautiful all the way around love it wheels came up so she'll go 37 so let's kind of see if she'll fit onto the trailer i doubt she will but hey if i can take her home right now that'd be appreciated still had to run all the way back up here for my truck or this so we're just gonna kind of line her up the best we can so i kind of don't think we can load her up i don't think we can kind of load her up ladies and gentlemen she might be a little too wide now that we know she's 100 percent too wide we're just gonna go ahead and take her back to the base and we'll have one of the employees come back from my truck all right so we're pumping the rest of it we pumped in these containers now we're pumping the rest into this got it going down in here through the reservoir all right she's done we'll close the valves all right so we jump back into the patriot lift the thing up then we go ahead and drive it on down here turn off the beacon hit unfold let it unfold real fast and when it's high as we're sitting we won't actually damage the corn which will be great we'll go ahead and spread the legs out now there you go ladies and gentlemen we'll go ahead and start spraying we still gotta spray this right here and we'll go ahead and turn the fogger on when her finish we'll finish it out real fast and then we'll switch it to see our we'll switch to getting figured out we'll need to have figured out and we'll have everything done so give me one second we'll be back in a second and we'll figure out what we need to do from there right, so now i gotta wash this out real fast get her cleaned up for the next process we gotta do today is harvest it has been a long time of coming it has been one thing after another um getting ready we actually had to real fast listen gentlemen there's something going on today i had to get rid of the vermeer stuff and so i replaced like the vermeer uh what's it called wind rower with this and then i replaced the vermeer mower with this right here so we upgraded it in some areas Areas. um so we had to do that because we got something today for y'all special um today we'll be having a farm hand join us in harvest and we got a lot of stuff today we are going to be harvesting 66 67 um and possibly starting on some beans or something like that this week and everything like that too um we also have a lot of stuff happening so i'm gonna wait for him to get over here we've got to head up to the dealership and the dealership down there saw what we do they really wanted to let us give us a helping hand pretty much and they let us uh, demo something and we also rented something for a good four grand um down there so we'll go ahead and down there in a minute and we're gonna wait for our good old buddy to come down here slow as can be slow and steady went through well didn't i tell you we started at eight twelve oh, you, that's 12 minutes coming off paycheck let's uh -huh. go we gotta take my truck we gotta go to dealership they got a couple things over there i think they have a harvester that they're letting us demo and then they have the kenzie grain cart was it also is the kenzie grain cart so we can go over there and go get that real fast dang they got a lot of equipment here oh yeah i ain't gonna complain about it that's more equipment for me to come by later so i think these two right here the one with the header i think that's our combine we got a cloth combine right here and then we got the Ken older kenzie green car a 1050 nice looking sucker i heard that this one came from old farm been used for many years all right here we go right now pulling up onto the farm shouldn't be nothing too unique as long as we don't hit the end bank i'd hate to have to pay for this new header more money than we got all righty do i get a bonus for beating here or what is how's that work i mean you win a turkey sandwich for lunch all right we gotta get the tractors pulled out and hooked up to the gravity wagon friday we're pulling back into the farm um i forgot he didn't have a fifth wheel so i gotta hitch up to that so we can get his combine pulled out into the fields because we had to go buy a brand new case age header that was expensive enough and so we're gonna keep on going it looks like the kid's getting ready to start going with his over there or he's actually going now and so now that he's going we're gonna keep on going around here and make sure we get the headlands done 
me to this farm. I know that, but I've only got one. I've only got four years to make a million dollars. Already get going. I know. That's why you got them grass bales sitting out there. Eventually, I'm gonna try to make those into silage and sell the silage bales. Make sure everything goes right. We'll get you back out here for that. Already. As long as you don't break nothing. He's doing really good so far. Looks like the corn headers are doing good. And we got Jim up here. He's doing good in the harvester. And then we got that field still to go. Whew, a lot of harvest still left. And ladies and gentlemen, if you look ahead, there's the wild happy running across the field. Running as fast as he possibly can. Dang, I'm not in shape. I need to get start running some more. I'm out of breath. Not there for power. I'm perfectly fine. I have slowed down. I'm the old deer struggling. <laughs> Doesn't help I have more on me than you. Come on, old girl. Hey, boss man. What? You on CB? Yeah. I had a little bit of an issue. The brakes locked up and I hit a pothole and the tire broke on the back. All right, let me go dump this grain real fast and I'll come back that way and see what you did. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. On a scale from one to you're fired. It's probably a five. The axle on this back one is completely screwed. Good lord of What yeah. did you do? Dude, you know a wheel's not supposed to bend like that, right? You done mess this one up. Explain this one to me. What'd you do? Brakes uh, locked up and I kind of flipped it. Where's the kind of? You, you kind of broke her. Huh? Let's just wait here until they get here. I mean, they'll be bringing the tow truck or something like that over here. Look at there, buddy. You get to use their new Mack truck they got. Nice looking one. Looks better than the one they, they had. Like, looks a little bit better than Kenworth they had. But I'm going to go ahead and line it up here. They kind of left us the materials and said it's cheaper for us to do ourselves. Pull forward. And there she goes. Right there. I will right, we'll detach that. Uh, you want the truth? Yeah. I think you ruined both of the Parkers. As I, the way it leaned, you can see it's crumpled in right here. We have an option we could do. We could empty okay. this grain out onto the ground right here and let you put it all in here and we take it all up there at one time and uh, take these wagons back to the dealership or we can take this up there. I don't care. It's up to you. I think we might just need to unload her here. The way she is, I don't feel safe with her having that grain. Yeah. What is up? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing right where we left off. We have a little bit of a surprise. You may be looking around here for a second saying, that's different. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of things that's aspired over the last few days. Um, some being that uh, we're renting some equipment. So Happy ended up tearing up the Case IH very badly. And it was kind of not worth fixing. So I talked to the John Deere dealership and they're letting us rent all this right here. Now, yes, I know I'm hauling four Brent wagons with a John Deere 8R. Shh, don't tell the DOT. We don't tell the DOT these things because if we do, we get in trouble. But we have rented four Brent 644s. And ladies and gentlemen, these things have held up pretty good. If you look up there in the corner, we've already gotten the money from selling the Case H, but I did sell the 4755. It had to go right now. Um, Happy's actually getting ready. He actually went and had some lunch, and he's actually about to head back in here in a second. And so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue doing what we're doing. We're probably going to switch over the beans. Uh, the beans, apparently, from what he told me earlier, is looking very dry and so if they're looking drier we're gonna go ahead and get ready see you in a second Alrighty, we're just now getting done with that let's close that all righty she has switched over and ready to go ladies and gentlemen we've did a little bit of harvesting uh, i'm gonna go ahead and tell you about this right now we had some situations where this bin right here is falling down and so i'm gonna have some guys come out this winter and take her down but for right now we're going we put up another bin right now and one of them has corn i think they both have corn in them right now we were doing some testing with one of them and so we're going to come and take this corn out and put it back into this bin and we're going to use this bin right here for beans how you doing happy pretty good how are you doing good doing good did you go get that special gift from the uh dealership yes i did it's right over here Alrighty, perfect. Kind of where the wagon broke, the case I H ended up breaking. It was a whole lot of damage. Apparently, their left wheel was just about not even on there. So, we just had to get rid of that. That's why we have so much money. The case I H dealership is letting us lease this right here for the Kloss case I H header somewhere around here. I think it's in this open building over here. Yeah, there it is. So, we'll get that out of here and we just gotta get to working. We also did lease another tractor, this right here, the John Deere 8R. We are currently buying their on payment we're buying these four brent wagons yeah there's a lot of things going on ladies and gentlemen i know it's hard to keep up but we're trying our best to make sure y'all stay in the loop let's go ahead and get the claws pulled out um let's get that other header pulled out because we gotta start working on the bean because it's a uh, bean time sounds good what do you want to do first hook up the header or actually we should wait till we get in the field before we hook up the header we're gonna go ahead and take this out to the field real fast and we're gonna go ahead and get everything set up he's getting on up into the adar let him go ahead just letting you know if you dent one of them it's on your paycheck i, I want your pen 
on this real fast. What do you think for next year about taking all this grass out and turning it into one big field? Sounds like a great idea to me. Yeah, the only problem with it though is we lose a lot of grass production. Because you know this year I'm taking the rest of this month. I'm going to take the majority of the money and put in the cattle. Right. But they're projecting these beans to get up to $125 per bushel. Holy. So that's going to be a good price then, you know? Oh, yeah. If we can especially sell it like that, we'd be able to get we'd be able to pay the loan off in no time. So we're going to be unloading the first load here. Backing on up a little bit. Kind of starting to unload process. Looks like this first truck right here is pretty decently full. And so then we got to focus on getting the back end trailer filled up. Which for a Brent wagon, I mean, this should legitimately take nothing fill it up and hopefully we can put all this into storage and make a lot of money on it so we can upgrade the farm man i was starting to look like we might be done here in the next few minutes because the other field is still green so uh, last field of beans is still green so man look like we're almost done might get to go out and party tonight what's that we gotta switch it back to corn we got corn to get done uh Partying's more fun. It might be. Hey, hey, now. I never said partying was more fun. I don't know. What you think we're going to get for like, when we go to sell it at the, what's it called? Sell it when it's the highest margins. Probably. I think this might equal out to the corn. Under. Well, the corn made us 60, uh, 60 ish thousand when I was working with Jim. Really? Well, yeah, when you went to go get you some food because you said I had to legally feed you for some reason. Still don't understand that. Well, I got to eat. You better be paying for it. It's on your time. Paying for it? You've lost Why your mind. You Why wouldn't you be paying for it? Because I don't like you that much. I just need an employee and I, and I was stuck with you. Do you know how much I tried to hire this guy named Buck? He just kept refusing. We are done for the day of soybeans. Last one back to the grain cart at the pay for food. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming down the straightaway, ladies and gentlemen. Who will be the first oh. one to start dumping uh, in the things? Come on, come on, come on. Don't you screw me like this. There we go. Woo! Hey, just letting you know, I want steak. You're funny. I'll get you a ham sandwich. I don't care what you get yourself. I want a steak. Today, we got a little bit left to go. All these fields that were orange, they're no longer orange because they're all cultivated, seed bedded, and they're ready to go. These two fields are our last two fields to do. So we're going to do some of that today. We're going to do some hay bales. Um, we got a lot to get ready for because we are also going to be buying cattle, hopefully within the next episode. And look at there. He doesn't know how to come to work. Yeah. It's a miracle. 17 minutes early. Today. Where were you yesterday? Nah, huh? Huh? we don't talk about that. Yeah, uh -huh. I hear you. Well, we got a lot of stuff to do today, of course. I mean, well, we got to get harvest finished. We got to get hay started. We got to get that field cultivated. There's a lot still left to do. Let's go ahead and get the harvester set up. Let's get the Case IH tractor and the newer John Deere on the Brents. Yeah. Let's get the old, well, actually, let's get the older John Deere on the Brent. And let's get the newer John Deere on the Kinsey. I'm going to take the 710 here and I'm going to bring everybody to the field and I'm going to run back. So let's go ahead and get everything started up man sounds good after you get the kenzie over here if i'm not too full go ahead and bring over the case ih and you start on that field or sounds start good. gerald on that field and you just run the kenzie back and forth yep And that is the end of the harvest right there. We're officially done with Kloss Combine. And we're done with... We're done with everything pretty much. Okay. Time for us to get everything packed up and ready to head back to the dealership. I'm going to go ahead and take the Kloss Combine back over there. Do me a favor and come pick me up from the dealership. Yep. Part the harvester right here. They got to take it over there for an inspection so that they can figure out what they want to do. We still got a lot of stuff for a term, but they told me I had to pay them. They said 20 grand is what I owe them. There is the 20 grand taken out right there. I'm going to jump in here with Happy. Off right here, I'll take the Combine back.
but uh, you oh. get everything figured out and you have fun all righty ladies and gentlemen right now we are taking this jcb we rented from the dealership and we're taking this veil wrapper we have right here to the uh, house right now because we want to make silage bells out of the grass bells that we have and uh happy if i'm not mistaken if he's not asleep right now he uh should be getting everything set up so when i return are you asleep yet almost almost yeah yeah i'm right there with you all righty good morning ladies and gentlemen we're just gonna go down here check the mail real fast i got the mail here let's see what it says all right bill 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 my loan office it's not january just yet what could all this be about guys this letter here is basically stating we only have one year left to pay off the entire firm we still owe three million dollars this ain't good we have three million dollars to make in one year or they're gonna take the farm from us i need to get happy here we need to get to work instantly we have three million dollars we still need to make in one year one year one year oh my gosh i don't think we can do that i don't think so either you better get to work. All right, so what's left to do? You know? I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look. Let's look at the pH levels of everything and drive around. Make sure that the fields are all good. Yeah. I'm letting you drive. It looks good. Yeah. This field's got a couple weeds. Weeds here, yeah. That's because we didn't spray this part of the field yet. We thought it was going to be fine, but it's okay. We don't need to mess with the pH until the summer, so we should be fine. So I guess yeah. our best bet right now would be wait till summertime. We'll plant it harvest it and see what we make hopefully we end up doing good all right well welcome to april you ready to get everything going man i am ready go ahead and get hooked up man move the john deere out of the way and let's get rolling um i have to go to the dealership and pick up a, the tractor and planter sounds good make sure to get that seed out from over here in this corner out so we can go ahead and start filling stuff up we ended up with a john deere 1775 nt planter it's going to be able to drake to merge all the planting like the corn and the soybeans that we'll be planting this year i hope we get out of debt ladies and gentlemen and if we're going to get this old girl fired up right here Check around this corner. Gotta get us a bag of these seeds. I'm gonna get one of these seed boxes and put in there to do a mixture. I'm just gonna shut that off right there. Let's get to work. We planted corn first and all the ones we planted soybeans in last year. At this rate, with the way this one does it, it should take us no time. Alrighty, so it's been a couple months. We got all the main work done, and we got corn. What you doing looking around, not trying to look all pretty? I don't know, I'm just... There's looking. another There's another sprayer in there. Go get that sprayer. Let's get to work, buddy. I'm not paying you just to stand around here and do nothing, man. I'm just telling you that now. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start the soybean spraying, man. Let's go ahead and get that started. And I'm going to let him go to the field he wants to go to. So I'm spraying the actual fertilizer over here. And he's over there spraying the insecticides. I'm going to let him do him. And I'm going to get, hopefully, this over here completely fertilized this year. This tractor right here does help us out with the flow rate. It has a really good flow rate coming in and out of it. And it really does really, really well. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry this year we're not able to pick up the camera so much. Much. We're trying our best here. We're trying our best. Alrighty, 
It is October 1st. It is time to harvest the corn. Happy should be coming over here in a little bit. And we got a lot of stuff to get done. I know, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't pick up the camera much. Even what we did, we didn't really do a whole lot in. But y'all realize that we've been doing a lot of work. We're trying our best to save the farm. We really don't want to let this farm go. I, I don't want to be bankrupt. I don't want to file bankruptcy. My wife is already wanting to leave me because we're going broke. I mean, last thing I need to do is really honestly lose the farm. We got to get started with the corn. Let's go ahead. There's nothing else to really do, but go ahead get the corn i'm gonna go ahead and try to go ahead and hook up the header just so we're getting everything going and we can go ahead and get stuff uh, rolling how's it going pretty good let's get to work i mean we only got one harvester today since we only got one harvester we gotta do what we gotta do do me a favor let's go ahead and put this on a set of wagons and let's get going all right so do you think all the work we've been doing is gonna pay off and we're gonna be able to live i have no idea we'll see it'll be close i think i think i think we're gonna just barely make it if we do you want to do me a favor and see if the separator is spitting out any kernels looks like there's like five kernels per square foot now it becomes an effort on the grain cart driver yeah just took you forever but hey it's all those lessons you made me take you want to turn inside of here and i get a turn inside the grain cart man all right all right and now that we're done hey go put the corn hair up let's get the bean hair sounds good how's the beans harvesting pretty good they're actually yielding decent beans are taking forever yep want to switch with me sure. what's all these mcdonald wrappers in here for i didn't get a chance you kicked me out of the combine uh-huh yeah i got pepsi cans do we need to talk don't look behind the seat all right what you got back here coca-cola cans oh shit Shoot, look, you left your cell phone here. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. How many loads you think we got put in the bin so far? Probably four or five. And we are done for the end of the year. That took us a little bit longer than expected, man. Yeah. But that means we got to get back over here and hopefully be able to start taking our truck loads or something like that. I think you're going to haul a thing of beans. I'm going to haul a thing of corn. And let's see what we can make at the end of the day. You sure that old Ford's going to be able to handle two granny wagons? This old Ford right here will handle more than that Chevy will handle. I doubt it. I guarantee it. Uh-huh. This old Ford is going to be able to handle it. She's a pro. If you say so. so we're going to go ahead and set these up right here. And then we'll come back. Uh, let's go. We'll set them. We'll take them tomorrow. Good morning. You ready to start haul hauling green? I'm ready to start doing something. All right. Today's the bad day. We get to find out if we're going to make money or we're going to lose it all. Just like you heard me told him, we will find out today if we are losing the farm or if we're going to be able to successfully make the money necessary to keep the farm going. All right, we're getting the last little bit of it here dumped in here. And I think we'll end it at 35000 per run. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Make up the hill. You got it. Come on. Come on. It can do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue trucking on. And I'll bring y'all back once we have sold all the grain. Looks like we made about 87000 from that load. 87000 That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got a lot more left to go, man. All right, man. Well, we've sold everything we can. The only thing that's left is equipment. But if we can't pay the loan off today, we've lost everything, man. Yeah, it's a yeah. sad day. I don't know. I think we made a lot of money. I just don't think we made enough. Let's pull on into here and find out how much money we made. And we made 2.8. Are we able to get... Nope. No, we're not even getting no more loans. Yeah, I know. You want the money. I'm going to write them a check for that. And uh, let me talk to them. Let's see what we can do. And they gave us 24 hours to get all of our stuff and get out of the property. The only things we get to keep is our trucks. Everything else is on the loan. After me and Happy lost our family farm, we decided that it was going to be no longer the lifestyle we wanted to pursue. So, as we kind of drove out to the Yukon to start our very own gold company, we ended up picking a hitchhiker up on the way, and this is a story of what we are doing to earn all our money back. What you doing out here? To be completely honest with you, I have no idea where I am. Uh, you want a job? Uh, what kind of job? Gold mining. Is there gold here? Yeah, there's a lot of gold here. What's the catch? Uh, we feed you, we clothe you, and, you, and uh, you take about 5% of the gold. I mean, that sounds way better than being lost. A lot better. Get on in, bud. All right. So, uh, where, where you come from, fella? I don't know. You don't know I got hit on the head earlier, and I just don't remember anything. There's a chance you might have wife and kids, and you'll never see again. Wow. Hey, hand me them papers back there. Yeah, here you go. All right, thank you. The paperwork says right about here. Looks like a lot of trees and not a lot of gold. Well, we got we to gotta dig out of the river is basically what it says. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's some good stream there, pay right there. Is there poison ivy around here? It's the Yukon. I don't really think there's a whole lot up here. So that's where we are? Yeah, we're in the Yukon. Okay, okay. That sounds familiar. So, let's uh let's go ahead and get the Kubota off, and let's get to work, man. Alrighty. 
Hey, have you ever used a chainsaw before? Yes, yeah, absolutely. All right, we got one in the truck. We'll get you changed out. I'll fit something like that. So let's go ahead and get you the truck. Happy, I'm just glad we were able to buy the Kubota back. Yeah, it's a nice machine. It's a really nice machine. I'm glad they let us buy it back compared to not being able to buy it at all. All right, it looks like all we got left is to do some of these stumps right here. So, and after we get this, we need to go ahead and call up somebody to help us out and get the new house over here, okay? Yep. And in no time at all, the people came with the trailer to give us a house to live in and also the sluice boxes so we can actually start sluicing for gold. Hey, you know you're slow, right? Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, I'm just saying, you know you're slow when we already got a house now and the sluice boxes. We're just waiting on you. What did I do? Please tell me you stalled her. I, I might have. It just stopped. Turn the key. Just turn the key. Turn the key. Oh, I think it's okay. Oh, I'm going to put it away before I break it. Yeah, I would. Because if you yeah. break that, we, we got all have problems here. Uh, Go over there and get the bucket. I thought that we need to start putting gold over here. And while he goes and gets that, this is our sluice box. This is how this works. Basically, we put the dirt up here and we pour water over it and it sluices it out for us. And hopefully, after we put enough pay dirt in here, we'll start to have gold. I guess Happy went and took a nap for a second. While he's doing that, and I'm going to go grab the Kubota and let's go and get to work with getting gold in the box. All right. All righty, I'm going down the river. I'm going to get me some pay dirt. All right, so we got to slowly drive down here. Got a bucket now. And now I just got to climb on up. Heave, heave, heave. Come on, come on, come on, old girl. There we go. Alrighty, the first bucket is going into the sluice. And now we just got to activate it. And we should start producing concentrate. Hey, start manning that. Make sure to keep pouring water down that. I'm going to get more gold. Alrighty. So we're just going to keep on going up and down here. The Kubota doesn't seem like she likes this very too much. But this is what we have to do to get the gold. Because the more we can get out of here, the better. Alrighty, let me go check on Happy over here. I don't know. You did that quickly. Yeah, I work fast. Really fast. That's actually impressive. Why didn't you uh, work this fast on the farm? I went to trade school for construction, not farming, so I'm better ah, that, that explains a lot. Holy moly. Well, I mean, at least we have now a way to refine the gold now. All right, let's get back to work then, because we got a lot more gold to process. Start digging it with your hand, buddy. 10-4. Hey, Happy, you on the radio? Yes, sir. Do me a favor and grab the new guy and grab some shovels and make me a little bit of a smoother incline there. 10-4. All right, there you go, Happy. I'm going to throw this All drone right. up for a little bit and watch it work. Yeah. We have four boxes of concentrate here. And we gotta get Very all nice. four boxes inside of that building over there and get it smelted into gold. We made gold! We're rich, boys! We're rich! Let's go. Wow, that was fast. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. We got both pallets. Get the trailer and get the bobcat over here. We gotta go. Oh. Quit trying to spill the gold. He broke one of the jars. Good lord, man. That's going out of your paycheck. I'm getting a paycheck? Yeah, 5%. That's better than zero. All right, Chris, we got to go sell all this gold. All right. You, th you think you trust me? I trust you. So you guys were farmers before. Yes, sir. We ran a multi-million dollar operation. We kind of sucked at farming. You said multi-million dollar, though. Yeah, well, there's a reason we're not doing it anymore because we lost everything. So it looks like we got about 91000 is what we got at the end of that. And after no time at all, we sold all the gold. And we ended up going directly to town to hopefully buy ourselves a brand new pickup truck. And also pick ourselves up some more conveyor belts and some new things like that. Which will be really beneficial to the mining operation for us and our team. You know, you were doing a lot of up and down by that river. Would one of these help for that? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we actually get like one of these and one of these. Actually, no, this one right here would be better. Oh, yeah. But what I really want to look at, I want to look at this right here. Let's see what the price tag in here says. It's a good truck. It's a good one. Don't we want 10 grand for it? So that's 10 grand. Let's look at hmm. how much this over here costs. Let's look, let's look. Uh, 20 grand for that. Okay. And 30 grand for that. So what's that? If we got all of them, that would be 60000 60000 You don't think Happy would be mad if we spent all the money first day, right? I just met him, but I think he would understand the investment idea of it. All right, I'm going to go pay them real fast. You get everything loaded up, okay? Okay. And after some time we negotiated with them, we ended up walking away with only paying sixty grand for every piece of equipment we wanted. And so now we loaded everything up and took it directly back to the farm, exactly where it should be.
Happy, you on the CB over there, bud? Yes, sir. Just letting you know, we're coming back with some new equipment. Sounds good. All you right. didn't blow our money, did you? Uh, only 60 grand. How much do we make? 90. We got 90 grand and you spent 60 of it? Yeah. I trust you. Don't end up going bankrupt again like last time. After we got all the machinery loaded up and we only paid 60 grand for everything, we went ahead and took all that machinery back to the farm. Went ahead and took a nice night for the night. It's a nice time for the next day and getting to work. Alrighty, boys. You ready to work? Sure am. All right, let's get this uh, new fancy thing over here set up. All right, boys, did y'all get the system set up down there? Yep, getting some dirt moved over to it now. What am I paying you for? Get your butt over here. Get to work. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. You moving some dirt down here, son? Yes, I am. How's ah. that machine running about there? It's running pretty good. That's good. Having a little struggle with the rocks, but other than that, it's running really good. We need to see if we can find somebody that has another one of those. Yeah. And after a little bit of time of watching these boys go back and forth, I decided that we needed to pick up another front end loader. And so I called up one of my buddies that had one for sale for 25 grand. We went ahead and picked it up. Uh, Chris, you want to take that skid steer in the water and help him out in the water and I do this up here? Okay. All right, boys, we filled up the sluice spots there. Let's uh, move pay dirt all the way to there and let the sluice spots catch up. Sounds good. Shoot. I think we might have an issue, guys. There's this big hole in the middle of this river here, and I uh, didn't see it, and I backed right into it, and the whole engine is underwater. Is she cranking up? Is she still alive? or? No, she died. We don't have nothing to pull it out of the water with either. That's not good at all. It's going to have to stay there until we buy something to pull it out with. Let's just uh, keep working for the day, and we'll go into town tomorrow when we sell the gold to buy something to pull it out with. Hey, Chris, what you doing over there? Uh, just uh, taking a break from loading some dirt earlier. Uh, well, we got to get back to it, because that pile over there, you see? That's the last little bit of dirt we got left of this mine. All right. We got to finish it up, finish it out strong. Hopefully, we can make enough money to take it on out. Put it in the sluice, not out the sluice, bud. Oh, uh, every time. Got to get good, son. Got to get good. I think that's enough to fit through right now. I think right now we got some more important business to get to. It's been a couple months since i last turned on my camera i don't know about you same yeah exactly about two months it's yeah. that big sale we had and well if we can ever get happy out from over there at that house we need to go hang it that wheel loader out of there yeah i wonder if there's a way for us to wake him up i know he was up late but he should be up by now well he needs to quit texting his new girlfriend and get his butt ready to work yeah that happens hey do me a favor yes sir come hold this right here so i can connect it all right so i'm gonna drive the ford down there in the water try to keep it on the bank but we gotta put her down there so that we can yeah. hitch it up sounds perfect I'll, I'll go over there and guide you. All right. All right. Easy, easy. Yep, yep. Perfect, perfect. Looking good. All right. You ready to see if she'll pull? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Let's do this. Come on. You might need to get in her steer. In here? Yeah. Come on. There we go. She's a coming. She's a coming. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It cranked on. There we go. I think we got lucky with the turn on for a second. It just died. Yeah, oh, no. Dead. Oh, no. Yeah, Maybe we let dead. it dry out? Yeah, we can. I think it might be best to call a mechanic. Yeah, probably. All right. Let's unhook the yank them and let's get back to putting dirt to the system so that we can go later today and sell some gold i tell you what we need to do we need to go find some more land to lease and after we lease that land we need to go see what we can do about getting us uh, some truck yeah that make this a lot faster all righty i got the last load of dirt here bud oh thank god finally take all that gold looks like you already got it loaded up there uh, it looks like the last one finally got done processing perfect 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 let's go ahead and load that up get everything finished strapped down and we can go ahead and take this on into town buddy yeah this is when i first we first picked you up right here Okay, this does look familiar. There it is, right? Yes, sir. Oh, man. That felt like it took a week to get here. To the right or left? I forget where we uh, talked to that guy last right. time. Is it over here? Right over here. Yeah, I see it. I see it. He should be happy with this much gold. I would hope so. All right, let's get out and talk to him. All right, let's start unstrapping this, and I'm going to go talk to him, and we'll go ahead and find out how much gold we made. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Ooh, how much money do you think we made? Uh, 600000 We made $1.2 million. 10%, 5%. That's good. That's good. Oh, what 5%? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's get back to home. Let's go to the store first and see if they got any, like, trucks that we can get. Okay. Because if we can pick up two big dump trucks, that'd be awesome. Because Happy just texted me. He told me he's coming down here to pick up one of the trucks. Perfect. Uh, that's a... I'm a jerk. I'm not going to park there. Why? Wow, we're a paying customer. When you have a trailer, go you right. can park anywhere you want to. All right, right there's good then. Yep, perfect. Good to see someone can wake up this morning. We've already done a whole... We already done half today's work and you haven't even left bed yet. Yeah, sorry. I was really tired last night. Didn't go to bed.
bed at like 4 a.m. You need to quit talking to them girls, I'm telling you. Them girls ain't gonna get you nowhere. All right, man. So who wants to go in there and go pay for them? I think they said they have some around back. And so let's just buy both of them. And yeah. I think Happy should pay for them. Yep. I'm Happy. just the worker here. I'm just a slave driver. Happy I can't go, say that. Happy go write a check. Okay. Alrighty, I just wrote the check for $360,000. Ooh, there. a little bit shorter than 900000 I, I bet they would support with us with that, though. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. These some big boys. Oh, I don't think those will get stuck in the water. All right, I'll drive the truck back. That was a long It's ride. about time. These things are super slow. Yeah, I, I had lunch. I had a nap, everything before you guys got back. All right, Happy. You want to go up the road yep. with me to look at the new land? Yep. Because we got to dig it out a little bit, so. All right, I'll get this all taken care of while you're gone. You better. Bring a wheel loader back there. Don't you bring that other truck. All right. So this is the new land. We'll be leasing all this around this mountain. Okay. They said this gold right here is supposed to be 10 times richer than what we were mining. That'll you know? be good. Looks like there's not as many rocks, too, so that'll help. Yeah. The only thing I think we'll have to do pretty much is kind of build like a little bit of an embankment so we can load the trucks up better. Yeah. If we cut down this tree right here, we should be able to come in on it as an angle, like slowly grade it down to here. Yeah. And then we'll have it pumping up as high as it can so we don't gotta get the trucks too low on the ground. Sounds good. Before you came down, did you ever call the mechanic like I left the note to say? I did. All right. How, how long did he say it's gonna take for that wheel loader to get fixed? I think he said one day, maybe two. Two days? All right. That ain't bad. Especially when yeah. it's been sitting in the river for two months. So, all right. Let's uh, get a chainsaw. Let's go ahead and cut this down and let's go ahead and get this area prepped. I think that works for me, don't it, for you boys? Yeah. Now we just gotta get the other truck down here and we gotta get the wheel loader in there and start pushing dirt. Happy, why don't you dump in the wheel loader and start pushing dirt? Chris, you on the radio? Yes, sir. Bring the other dump truck down here. And four. We got the entire land cleared out, so we're gonna start loading it up with dirt so we can go ahead and start making more moolah. Just in time. We just ran out of product over here, so we need some more. And four. Sounds good to me. The ground ain't better down there? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. A little bit easier than over there? Yeah. I don't know about you, but we made a million dollars. Oh, boys, we made a problem. Let me call it the lease slip person because we may have touched the land before we leased it. Hold up. Let me call him up. Yes, sir. All right. Have a good one. All right, boys. Can you hear me on the radio? Yep. Yep. All right. It took every dime we had, but we now officially are leasing the land for every dime we had left. I hope it's working. All right. It should be. It looks pretty good over here. I know when I was test painting it, we were getting like triple the amount we were on the other place. All right. I'm heading on back towards the house. I'm going to go ahead and unload this in there, and then I'll come back for some more dirt. All right. I'll get mine loaded up. 10-4. All righty. I'm unloaded. I'm on my way back. Boys, it's starting to rain. I think it said, though, here pretty soon it's going to clear up, though. Better not rain too much or I might wash away. Heck yeah. I did put a million dollars. <laughs> Uh, burial fee on you, so. Gosh dang. All right, I'm going to take my mine back over, too. Get it going. Do you want me to start moving pallets when I get back, or come back for another load? Uh, come back for another load. Okay. Once y'all load, move a couple pallets, because I probably won't be loaded completely still, but after that, get your butt back down here. And four. The engine's still above water, barely, so we're good for now. As long as the water ain't rising, we're fine. Yeah. Boys, ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't looking forward to the cold months, though. It's supposed to start snowing here eventually. Yeah, and this wheel loader doesn't have heat. No, no, it does not. I don't think we're going to be out of mine during the winter. Yeah. We gotta make enough money to be able to live this winter. I don't think it's gonna be that hard, though. And hey, don't forget to turn your safety beacon on down there. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, one little beacon in the river. <laughs> I'm almost full here. I don't see the other guy here yet, so I'm about to tear out here in a second. Be careful down there. I will. I think that's gonna be the last load, guys. It's getting dark and the water's starting to rise a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. All right, then I'm just gonna worry about getting the concentrate put into where it needs to go, okay? Sounds good. Do you want me to leave this wheel loader over here or bring it back? Uh, at least get it out of the river. Yeah, it's out of the river. Then you can just leave it over there. All right. Oh, it's getting dark fast, boys. I'm about half full. Do you want me to head back now with how dark it is? Try to keep loading up right now. Basically, until that elevator won't load you anymore, you're full. Okay. Because we don't need the ele elevator. Don't matter too much. Cause we got that on warranty. Seem like the storm's calming down i'm about 70 percent full perfect but i don't mean anything them them waters can definitely start rising quickly so you said 70 go ahead and bring her back okay you don't think everybody's gonna steal this gold tonight do you no nah, we gotta go set the mark because we're going broke right now all righty so, all right boys let's all go to bed for the night the next day I don't know about y'all boys, but it's cold this morning. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this. My skin or my my blood doesn't handle the cold this well. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm used to warmer weather than this at this time. So I guess the best thing to do is just get back to doing what we were doing yesterday. So let's go ahead and uh, get across that bridge and go ahead and get back to work, boys. All righty. Mm, what is this? What are you seeing? Um, There's barriers blocking the bridge. Oh, what? I see them now. Yeah, no. It's all as a rock. Oh. Hold up, hold up. There's a sign right here. What does it say? Uh, Danger. A bridge. 
bridge has been condemned. Tearing down this bridge? Yeah, they're well, I don't think they're gonna tear it down. I think they condemned it. How are we supposed to get across? Yes, we gotta build a new bridge. That'd be the best way of doing it, don't you think? Build like a new bridge. Yeah. We could build one from like right here to over there. That's a short yeah, distance. Yeah, that'd work. I mean, it might be a little bit longer. May have to do some work around with the skid steer to clear out some of these bushes, but we ain't got much of an option now, do we? No, we don't. We'll have to sit down and write some plans after that, but it looks like we ain't mining today. Y'all wanna go sell yeah. the gold and find out how much we got? Yeah. Hey, this was faster than last time. Is that a shot at my driving? Uh, a little bit. All right, boys. I'm going to go talk to him. Let's sell it and let's get everything done. Yes, sir. All right. We appreciate it very much. All right, boys. Ooh, we are boys. We got 800,000 for that one. Dang. Wow. That land pay is paying off big. Yes, it is. Boys, I don't know about y'all, but I think it's time for us to go invest in some more machinery. Got to sit down and figure out how to make that bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to need more machinery to make that bridge. We'll see what we can do tomorrow. You want the trailer or not? Yeah, bring the trailer. We got need. We're gonna need something to put this wood on. Alrighty. So we get the fun part now. Let's the get the fun our, part. Yeah, we gotta clear away because I think the best bet of action. We go through here and we kind of do a little bit of a curve and come at it directly like this. Okay. Or kind of like right here in this area would be better. So we go directly across from right here. So we come from here and yeah. So let's go ahead and get it started. Where's Chris? Did he run off again? I was just looking over here. Looks like it would be a shorter distance and less work. Yeah, but there's that tree in the way. Who's going to move that tree? All right, I'm cutting. I'd back away. Yep. There she goes. All right, I'm going to start clearing out these bushes. All right, got all of it pushed out. All right. That was a long that was a long break. You did good. Looks like you've been hard at work. Yeah, I mean, that's my job. I work hard enough of you. That's why I get paid 90% and both y'all get five. Um, hey, wait a minute here. Since when do I get five? You always got five. Yeah. That's exactly why you the employee. Let's cut down more trees. Let's go ahead and build the bridge, and let's go ahead and make that done instantly. I'm going to snap my fingers, and it'll be here. Ready, set. Uh, wow, boys, look at that right there. We are is it fast. Is it moving at all? No. Much pretty steady to me. We'll find out here okay. in a second. You go test it with the wheel loader, and if you fall through, then not our fault. Oh, well, you're the one who was hammering in the nails. You had, you didn't nail all the nails in, right? I think so. Were there any left in the box? Yeah, there's five. It's supposed to be all the nails, buddy. Good oh, luck. Oh, goody. And she is as sturdy as a rock, boys. See, we didn't need those five nails. We knew what we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew what you were doing, all right. <laughs> Let's get back to work. Everybody, Chris, you and uh, you and Loverboy right here need to get yourselves on wheel loader, since we got two now, and start pushing dirt. I'm going to bring over the first, well, oh, actually, Chris, come with me first. Help me get okay. a dump truck, and then you'll get in your wheel loader. All right, Chris, why let's did, go ahead. Why did I come with you? Dump truck. Oh, we're bringing both of these. Yeah. This is going to be a real test for that bridge. Yeah, two trucks, one right after another. Oh, yeah, right over it. Piece of cake. Good thing there's no bushes in the way. Look who finally decides to show up. What are you talking about? Have you even turned the conveyor belt on? Not yet. I forgot. You might want to help me turn it on. All right, I guess I'll just sit here and wait. I'm going to go ahead and back up the other truck and wait for it. How come I never get to drive the dump truck? Because you're so good at your job. That's a compliment. But I, but I, but I, I broke the wheel loader day one. Exactly. Yeah. Why would I give you a good job? Like yeah. these, these wheel loaders are like 15 grand. These are like 100 grand almost. Oh. Do you forget we paid 100 something, 150 grand a piece for these things right here? Yeah. There is way too many rocks in here. Tell me about it. Well, won't you be glad when we move into an actual mine site eventually? Yes. In about 15 years. 15 years. I got to stick with this for 15 years? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. You're too good for that? I thought this mining gold stuff, you find it, you uh, you sell it, and you're done. You make money. I don't like you that much. No, 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 no. We're, we're making money. Exactly. We're making money. We, we got to buy. We gotta have enough money to buy our next farm, okay? Listen, you forget that ever since we left that other place, we, we still got to pay that money that we owe. We do? Yeah. We don't even own it anymore. I know, but they caught us with interest. interest. Apparently, we didn't pay any of the interest, and they sued us for it. Uh -huh. So you don't pay your taxes. You don't pay your interest. What taxes? What's taxes? I don't yeah, what are taxes? All right, I'm heading off to the house again. I'm going to go dump this and make some gold. All right. And so we kept on digging the dirt and we kept on sluicing it and go ahead and melting it directly down into gold to go ahead and eventually sell it for money. All right, boys, I'm full. It's frozen down here. The wheel loader's having a tough time out here. What do you mean? Like when it gets cold, ice forms from water. That's, yeah. that's what happened. Keep working. That's just how that slacker talk. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It, it might be a little too much ice. I agree with you. Are we, was the bridge icy? Did you fall in? I about fell in. About became fishing for the boss, man. So, yeah, I agree with you. All right. Go ahead and get our thing to the camp. I guess we'll talk about how much we made. We need some chains put on these things to get more traction. No, nah, we don't got the budget for that. Well, if I go in the ditch, it's your fault then. Well, you better pick up the pace. Better not run me over here. Don't worry. Once you get in the yard here, you'll be fine. <sighs> it's too 
cold out here for this. I'm going inside the heating shed. That's a good call. Uh, nice and toasty in here. Yeah, especially since we're next to the furnace. Yeah, exactly. All right, so it, it might be a little cold out there, boys. Um, Just a little bit. All right, boys. Well, we got this little heated lamp here, but I finally got how much gold we made. Oh, if yeah? my not... estimates is right, we should make around $15 million from all the gold. $15 million? Yeah. Holy crap. 15 divided by 5%. Uh, what five, what's 5%? I don't know that. All right, so we're going to go sell the gold in the morning, okay, boys? Okay. All right. So let's all go to bed. Let's quit huddling around this right here and let's go inside the house where there's actually a good heater. Okay? Hey, we get seven hundred fifty thousand dollars each. That's five percent. I don't know what you're talking about. Well done. Investment, boys. Investment to our futures. Let's go, boys. Hey, Chris, don't wreck now. You sure this truck can handle the weather? It's a Ford. It's Ford Tough. What do you want? Oh, we're gonna be stuck on the road. You might want to unfold your mirror there. Why? Kind of need it. Make sure you don't spill any gold. I didn't even know you could unfold a car. <laughs> um, not very good traction in this. Who left all this trash in the back seat? Uh, last person sit back there was you happy so uh, who put the trash back there nah chris sat back here last no you did nah uh, when i met you guys it was really strange that you were sitting in the back while he was driving and i sat in the passenger seat Sorry. it was it was a 10 hour drive i just slept back here okay i don't want to go this way are you lost nope approximately 10 hours later finally don't wreck don't Gosh, wreck dang. now oh, okay. God, dang. are you sure you have your driver's license probably not so, so we're here now. We've, we made it. Thank you so very much. I'll definitely take this some cash in. Boys, 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 boys. How much do we make? Fifteen million dollars and sixty-seven thousand. So here's God, five thousand for you, and here's five thousand for you. Thank you very much for working for me. All right, I'm taking hey, it. It's five percent. It's five percent, not five thousand. Read the prime pen. It's five percent of five percent. But that's not enough to feed my family. Well, get in. Come on. Well, I mean, we get to go look at more. We get to go look at land now. Okay? Nice. Let me call Are we my... done with the river? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Actually, let me call my buddy that uh, has a spot. Let me call him up and see what we can do about going and checking it out. All righty. And we are here, boys. This looks like a pretty good spot. Yeah, exactly. We've already paid some money to come over here do some testing. He said that... No coming? Yeah, right. Oh, it's this way? Yeah, oh. he, he said yeah. the gold. He said the mining dirt's up here. Here, here it is. Boys. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's oh ten my. times better than the river we were in. Oh yeah. Apparently the history behind this is this used to be a waterfall right here, and then after time the water di diverted and it kind of left like a bunch of mud and stuff like that. That's what this is kind of is right here. You You're still that? wearing a t-shirt? Yeah. You know why? 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 Cause I'm on G portal. All right, so we can go get our stuff. To dig this. Of course, it's right now still frozen as a rock. Won't yeah. But an inch mm, so nope it's not so we gotta wait of course till summer but i think this would be a good place right here do y'all want to buy yeah you know this how much is it every dime uh, every dime we have left every dime so we're not gonna buy any bigger wheel loaders then? no Duh. well i would imagine we'll be able to buy them pretty quickly after summer hits though exactly. yeah we should yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking make it so all right y'all ready y'all want to buy yeah let's buy it all right let me give him a call real fast all right man thank you thank you thank you very much Yep, I've wired you all the money we got, and yes, sir, I appreciate your business. What'd he say? He took it. We're broke. Hey, but we got this beautiful piece of land right here with all this gold. I just got one question. Why is it when me and you ever go into a winter, we always end up with zero dollars in our wallet? That's an interesting point. We gotta get that figured out. <laughs> We are terrible at finances at this point. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. Hey, at least once we mine all this out, we'll have plenty of gold. Boys, all right. So, last person to the truck has to walk home. Oh, <laughs> we're neck and neck. Who's going to get in? Who's going to get out? All right, <laughs> no. Happy, get out. Get out, Happy. <laughs> all right, see you back at the house. What in the world? How you doing? Good, how about you? Doing good. What you out here for? Uh, I got lost. All right, you want a job? Sure. All right, get in. I want a gold mining company. My name is Nathan. Oh, nice. I'm Blake. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blake. I want a gold mining company, and my two employees, they just quit on me today, so we're, I'm going to take you over there, and we're going to start mining today. Sweet. All righty, this is the mine site right here. Who's that? Somebody robbing your place. Chains oh, hey, up. Boss. Get out. I don't want you... Get Get out! Get out! I gotta replace you. Get out! Say hello to the new Chris. I'm replacing both of you. Get out! Out of here. Are you sure? He looks have like you a seen, hard worker. Have you seen how? No, 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 not that. He can join. But have you seen how big that mind that mind is over there? Are you sure you want to get rid of us? Uh, I guess I can keep you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we beat you here, so you're just low. You left before us, and we beat you. That Uber driver was pretty crazy. I can't help you. Had Harry Potter as your Uber driver. This is just us. Everyone getting a piece of equipment. Let's start running. Start running. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start drop. Let's go ahead and get everything out in the 
equipment. Chris. You said run. Uh, Chris, if you don't go get a piece of equipment, I'm going to run you over. Yeah, we're going to have to pour all this dirt right here, firstly, on the ground to be able to build a little ramp. That's a good point. Yeah. I thought you were going to pour it on the ground. Not here, but over there at the where we got to actually dump into. You'll see what I'm talking about when you go over there. This is so much easier than mining in the river. It seems a lot faster, too. I'm at 70% yeah. full already. And it's a lot more fun. I don't have to avoid rock constantly. All right, boys. You on the CB? Yep. We've been working for a few hours now. I think everything's looking good. We got plenty of dirt now. Now we just got to fit it to the trial and hope we'll make some money. Time for it. We got one thing to concentrate. Well, there's, I see the gold in it. We don't have time today. We're, we're, almost, we're out of money, so we got to go sell the concentrate, okay? You guys go do that. I'm going to keep working here. All right. Let's roll. Let's get it done. And me and Chris went and sold all the gold in town. We made $150,000 so we could continue on our mining journey. I'm gonna go pay for this and then we'll meet I'll meet you back there, okay? Okay. I don't think that's gonna fit on this trailer. It'll fit. Alright, well let's we'll try. There we go. That's perfect. Yeah, fits like a glove. Yep. Hey, just make sure we don't get pulled over by the uh DOT. I think they're gonna love our new toy. Yeah, I if they better. Boys, we're home! What in the world did you buy? Someone told me we were having problem problems with getting the dirt to the mine, so I feel like we need a bigger loader first. Nah. So you're telling me I need to make this ramp bigger over here so I can actually load into it. Yeah, I think we need a bigger lo loader. No, watch yeah. this right here, little boy. Oh, you're just going to park on the side. Look at there. Fits like a glove. Very nice. I'm going to drive off. Back up. Just back up. Happy? Just back up. Uh, oh. <laughs> boy. I guess this works. Let's go unload it in the, the watch plant. Yeah, boy. We're getting peak efficiency done now. Chris, aren't you happy? Money well spent. Yep. Oh, 150000 of it. There we go, boys. We got the first delivery done. There we go. Let's see if I can climb back up there. Oh, crap. Never mind. Well, I feel like I should just stayed on the side of the road that day sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? Same here. Peak efficiency. How many liters did you just do? 7,000. You want to go on a ride too? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Where are you going? I just made a deal online. Okay. Just trust me. I trusted you with the Millionaire's Challenge. Look what happened. You're having the time of your life, okay, buddy? The boys should be happy. I just traded our rock truck for this brand new-ish. It was off of another person's mind. Wheel loader. Should be no reason these boys complain now. Let me see if I can get them on the radio here. Hey, boys, you on the radio? Yes, sir. All right, I'm coming down the road right now. What'd you get? Hey, just don't worry about it, okay? I got this. I hope so. Hey, just go ahead and have my best ball. Boss trophies waiting on me when I get there. Maybe the worst boss trophy. What was that? I didn't say anything. That's what I thought. All right, boys. If y'all can, I'd look over there towards the driveway. Happy. Right, once he pulls out, do me a favor. Go ahead and bat that rock truck up right here. Yep, we'll do. Hey, boys. I think we're moving dirt now. What do y'all think? Yes, we are. After we bought that big loader and that big truck, we went ahead and decided to put our money together and sell off all of our little equipment and go big. So we sold all of our little equipment for $400,000 and we bought brand new big equipment. Now, let's see what we can do with it. Boys, it's August. I think we've been doing a lot of work, but not a whole lot of show for it, boys. It's, uh, it seemed like that river was better for us. Ain't that the truth. Oh, man. I feel like we're just wasting every dime we get. We got bigger equipment, though. Yeah, but we're making more money the other way. I mean, we're making more money this way. We're just spending it right away. Yeah, you are the drama queen that said if you didn't get your big equipment, you were quitting. I don't remember saying that. It's okay, buddy. I remember the deposition you sent me. Hey, boys, it's getting late. Sure is. Y'all want to call this last load and then we go to bed for the night and go sell the gold, gold tomorrow? Sure. All right, let's go to bed, boys. The next day. All right, boys. We got our $3 million. We made, we got pretty good on that one. I guess that gold must have been more pure than what we're used to. All right, boys. Let's get back to work. I feel like that's the only thing we know these days. Oh, oh. I can't sleep. These birds are way too loud. I missed the, uh, the, the hospital bed. That was way more comfortable than this bench. 
Yeah, that was true. Come on, you gotta here before we get in trouble. Where are we gonna go? I guess two weeks final job would be the best way to go. Yeah, we need money. I mean, that's gotta be the first step to recovery. Ooh, here's a good one. Let me see if the job's still available. Boys, got good news. I found us a little bit of a job. You need some people to help harvest, cultivate, and plant. We could do that. Yeah, definitely. I found us a truck that we could use too. Did you find anything or did you come up I with I did. The, it would be a thousand a month. A thousand dollars a month. Oh, well, the man said expecting us in about 20 minutes. So we got a long walk in front of us. Nate, are you sure this is the right way? Yeah, I'm 50% sure. Are uh, we there yet? No, no, we're not. I'm going to go stand in front of this Burger King and beg for food. Come on, Chris. Chris come back here. We got to get to work. I'm just checking this van for keys. That's illegal. I got told we're apparently in like a state of New York, I think is what they said. How did yeah. we get to New York? I don't know. Hey, boys, I think that's a sign up in. Yep, Anderson Dairy Farm. Here it is. Since 1839? I mean, is that older than you? I'm not sure. What are we standing here for? We need money. Yeah, we do need money. All right, let's, let's get go. Let's here. go. This is beautiful out here. This is the right place? Yeah, let's go be on the real fast and find out. Mr. Anderson! Ah, right, thank you so very much, sir. We'll go ahead and get that job done for you. All right, Happy, where's Chris? Have you been snooping? I was looking for the dog. I saw the dog house, and I, I love dogs. H happy, did you see what was inside the house? I saw that 12 gauge in there, so we don't I need to be doing yeah. anything that's going to get us hurt. If oh. he's going to shoot me for petting his dog, then I don't think we want to work for this guy. He's offering those three grand right now to work for him for the day. So. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll give him right. a shot. We got to do some harvesting today, a little bit of cultivation. So we got a lot to do. Pick and choose what you want, boys. He did say the headers and everything like that we need is in here oh we gotta move some equipment around okay let me get in this uh international here are we Whoa. sure he knows how to drive a tractor no nope, not at all let's go like this all right i'll follow you guys i don't know where i'm going don't get lost i miss you already happy why did we, why, why is he with us again i don't know are we sure the doctor didn't just tell us that he was with us they just wanted to get rid of him all right let's switch back to the frequency so he can hear us are you there this thing does work i was trying to get it to work I, it's, it was radio silence bad issues connections out here you know how it is out in the forest a lot of some flowers the harvest is a year so we got a lot to do boys this little ipad that the boss gave me looks like it says we're yielding in the yellow I don't know what that means. Hey, Happy, when I get done loading up this first wagon full, you want to take over the harvester for a little bit? I could do that. Maybe we can let Chris get some experience too. As long as it didn't break anything. This place across the street, kind of neat. They have auctions here. Wow. Very you know nice. what would also be really neat? To have a grain car driver that can drive a grain car. You just know? said, wait until you're full. I'm full. All right. Well, that's dumping out. Let's switch. All right. I'm empty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull it forward. Chris better not be asleep in his tractor now. <laughs> what was that? He definitely was. Wow, your tractor's big. I get that a lot. Don't you unhook that. Don't you unhook that. Did you unhook that? I don't know what she's talking about. Let me pull forward him. You... I did nothing wrong. How did they get all the way over here together? Now, all of a sudden, they're separated. Chris, did you know to put the pin in all the way? That's Why is it what my I fault? Said. He didn't put I it in all the way. Tractor. Nate's back there messing around with something. I pull forward, and it's detached. Come on, come know. on now, back up. <laughs> Smoke now. There we go, buddy. I'll put the pin in good for you, okay? Hey, you know, uh, I bet I could beat you around this field. Wanna race? Wanna race? Right. Yeah, let's go. Go. Thank you, do, do. Slow and steady wins the race. But what he doesn't know is uh, he's going the wrong way. That's not the track. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> what also may not know is I'm driving in the middle of the field. You cheater. You're disqualified, I win. I thought you were a foot racing. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Hey, next time we race, no yeah. head start for you. No head start next time. Which one of you am I unloading into? Oh, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Ah, I got there. You did it that, that time, buddy. All by yourself. Hey, hey, Chris, you want to take a turn in here? I would love to. Ooh, is this thing supposed to smoke this much? All right, Chris, you about got it done over there? Yeah, just a little, little tiny, tiny bit here. Boys, my scales say they're at 99%. Mr. Right. Anderson's going to be happy with us. Move this slow thing out of the way. You talking to me? No, I'm talking to the boogeyman. What's it like? Move it, lose it. Four to six days later. All right, let me pour. You're always so bossy. I was going to do it. You do it then. Go for it. Go ahead and pull you forward. Go. You're all clear, yep. Hope we get those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches soon. He said he'll be done stays done. Wow, I got a pulmon pan, I see. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Too bad. Move it or lose it. We got big equipment here. Why do you unfold it already? No reason. Don't stop. I was going to let you pass. Why did you unfold it already? I got excited. Me and Happy just made it to the farm. We switched tractors, but kept the same implement. Ain't that funny. Hey, Chris. Yes, sir. Why do we call Happy Happy? We should call him Slowy. I can still hear you. Oh. 
Got changed radio channels. My bad. All right, boys. I'm just about done. How are you guys looking? We're getting there. I mean, what else do you expect? We got slowly over there, and I'm the only one putting work in. You've also got a three times bigger cultivator over there. Size doesn't matter, guys. What do you mean by that? All right, I'm heading back. I'm going to check on those sandwiches. You better not eat a sandwich without me. Yeah, without I might, me. I might throw hands. Nate, shut up. You already what? ate. I know you I... already had a PB&J earlier in the tractor. It Your doesn't... wrapper is still in here. Did you have a Mountain Dew? Oh, shoot. You found that too. Let's, let's talk about it. I think I'm winning this battle here. We're in the rule one. You are not leaving. You sit right here. Listen here, bud. Get out of my way. Mr. Anderson is not going to be happy with you. Move it out of the way. I was here first. All right, boys, I'm about done, and that's how they fear. I mean, there's three PB&J sandwiches waiting on me. I don't know about y'all. I'll race you back. Nate's got the lead. The happy oh, is gaining long. on him. Happy is gaining on him. He's overtaking him. No, oh, this race is over. I'm not even commentating the rest. It's over. See, Happy, I knew I could beat you. What in the uh, world? How did you get there? I still got forever to go. Should it get better, boy? Woo, welcome, man. It's been Woo. a minute. Yeah. What took you so long? I had to take the road. All right, I'm going to go get me the three sandwiches. Hey, hey, wait up, man. Hey, hey, hey. I'm watching him. All right, boys, I got the sandwiches, the Mountain Dews. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Here's your Mountain Dew. Here's your sandwich. Okay. Here's your Mountain Dew, and here's your sandwich. So, all right, I'll see y'all later. Where are you going? Where's the paycheck? He said he'll pay us tomorrow. All right, Come we on. got him surrounded. We got him surrounded. Check his pockets. Check his pockets. <laughs> Can't judge me. Can't judge me. I refuse. Did he say anything about more work? Yeah, he said he wants to hire us because we did a good job. Nice. But he said we're good, and he gave me the three thousand dollar paycheck. So we got to go spend some money on a truck. So are we farm hands? Yeah, I guess. It looks like it's right up the road from here. So let's run up there, boys. Looks like it's sitting right up here, right past this mailbox. Look at oh. that. Price tag says two thousand. Yeah, and I see why there's rust. That's okay. It'll we don't have it. the money to spend on a brand new yeah, truck, though. So yeah. we gotta have some rust on it. Two hundred ninety. 8,000 miles. Do we still get it or not? I mean, we got to get it. It's a truck. Starts up first crank. I think it's worth it, don't y'all? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go purchase this. Chris, go ahead and call the hotel. Tell them we're on our way. Boys, I got the title. It belongs to me, finally. You or us? I mean, it's technically only in my name. I just got off the phone with the hotel. They have a, a room that has two queen beds and a pull-out mattress couch, so we're set. Perfect. Call the bed. I call bed. Too bad. I set up the reservation. I get a bed. Hey, Nate gets the cash. Okay, you want a bed? All right, here. Yep. Get out. You know what? Said that, Chris. Let's just cuddle tonight, okay? I don't have to deal with him. I'm putting a pillow between us. Sounds fair. Chris, you want to go ahead and pay for it while me and uh, Happy figure out something right now? Okay. All right, Happy. When he comes back and he says he's paid for the hotel, me and you're going to run to the room. Whoever get, makes it to the room first gets the bed, okay? All right. All right. We're all paid for a month. All right. See you later. Wait, where, are you, where are you going? All right. Move out of the way. No, move out. No, move, no, move. No. All right. No. All right. I got it. I don't know about y'all. I'm so tired. It's quite oh, nice my. out, though. That floor was hard. They had a pull-up mattress. Why did you sleep on that? There was bugs in it, so I slept on the floor. That's terrible. Holy moly. What is this? I don't know. That's Whoa. a good-looking truck right there, boys. Chris, you know what you're saying the other day about stealing something? <clears throat> there we go. Get to work. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get over here, Nate. Whoa, are those bowling shoes? Yeah. What, are you going bowling? Really? They're boots, just like you have them. If you're on top of this, look at this shoes right here this man has on. What are those? Those are good shoes. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, good luck getting work today. Have fun working. By the way, if you don't make it there, boss ain't going to pay you. Oh, look, the key's right here in the exhaust. Let's take this truck. Yeah, I wouldn't if I was you, if you don't want to go to jail. Well, the old man texted me this morning saying that we need to pick up some truck from the co-op area. Wait, did you say he texted you? Yeah. Can you just have a text? All right, boys. I think we're at the co-op. Why didn't we get a job here? Could check if they're hiring. Here's the old man's trailer. He said he dropped off. Oh, this yeah. water trailer. Do you think liquid fertilizer is supposed to be in here? The old man knows what he's doing, okay? Well, people are very wise. What happens the DOT pulls us over? Well, first off, you gas it. Stupid old man. So I'm going to drive the semi-truck because I don't trust y'all with this. I don't think Chris has a CDL. We should get there pretty soon. The boss man says he's got a lot for us to do today. So Chris, no Burger King. Currently driving on down the road. Them boys are way back there at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of things ready. Let me call the radio real fast, see where they're at. Boys, on radio? Yeah, we just pulled in. Where y'all? Okay, uh, I was about to say, y'all need to go ahead and get here. I'm already on the 5020. Got her warmed up. Yeah, we made it. This trailer's pretty heavy. Don't blame 
blame the trailer. Blame the driver. All right, which field do I need to go cultivate? The one we uh, harvested last yesterday. I'll head that way, though. What other tractors do we have? Yes, sir, you take that one. Oh, you want the big one. I see how it is. Which field am I spraying? Uh, you're going to spray the one that I'm about to spray it on. What do you mean by that? Well, I already got the first trailer full of lime. I'm going to go ahead and spread this one that just got cultivated. Hey, Happy, how's everything working out for you over there? Working pretty good. I got the uh, cultivator here set real nice. She's leaving a nice seed bed. Won't look uh, too much longer before me and Chris is over there with you. We're almost done with this field. About two more passes, it looks like. Yeah, you realize uh, you're missing spots over here, right? Yeah, well, you know, you're putting pressure on me. Happy, what field you in? I'm in the sunflower field we just harvested. All right, I'm going to do the field that's right beside you that Chris sprayed for weeds last yesterday. And, uh, Chris, if you want to follow me to that field also, we'll see you done with that one. Oh, yeah, boy, this lime filling process is working great. Two very boring minutes later. Boys, the truck's already empty out of lime. The one we brought? Wait, really? You oh, might have wow. to talk to Mr. Anderson about getting more lime. We're going to definitely do something, because I don't think we have enough lime currently to be able to lime everything. How would one go about calculating that? Well, we look at the lime and look at how many more fields we got left. And take an educated guess. How's your spraying going? I'm all done. There's horses over here. Do you think I'll get in trouble for jumping this fence? Happy, go wrangle him. Fry the wrangle him. Hi there. How are you? Your name is Rancha? You? No one saw me. I hope not. Happy, you want to call the police or me? I'll call him. Why would you call the police? That poor horse. I didn't touch the horse. Don't you touch me? I, I don't know. We gotta make sure. We need to uh, get some kind of like bump softener right here. For these bumps. Did you just say a bump softener? Something to soften out the bumps with, okay? Hey, Chris, I'm on my way back right now. Me and you need to probably head up to town real fast and get some more lime. All right, let me uh, just finish getting these cows fed. I think live creatures are probably more important than fields at this point. Keep these guys alive. And gals. Well, uh, I'm waiting on the boss man. I I'm gonna go knock on the door when I get here. I'll see what he says. All right, so Mr. Anderson said in about two hours, we can go pick up another load of lime. So until that two hours, Chris, where'd you do with your sprayer? Back by the barn closest to the house. Ten four. I'm just gonna go take it over there to those other two fields. Um, guys, I need help. What now? I might fall in the river. Okay, what do you want? Do you want our new truck to fall in the river or do you want to help me? Oh. Um, our what? Our truck? Wait, you said truck? What are we gonna do here, Nate? I don't, I don't know what to do. We're gonna go save him, and once we save him, I'm gonna kill him. Guys, I'm getting scared. You realize we're in tractors, right? We're not in NASCAR. All I know is when I look out the passenger window, all I see is a river. Hi. This isn't even that bad. You made it sound like you're hanging off by like a thread. It looks like um, I am to me. I haven't gotten out of the vehicle to see. Well, actually... Get on out. It's easy. Actually... Open the door. Uh, Kurt, Happy? If he backs up, he could fall in. Well, that's why he's not gonna back up. He's just gonna get out. Okay. How are we gonna get our truck from here? I'm gonna take the tractor for a second. I got a buddy of mine that lives here, near here, that I can go borrow his tow truck. Abby? When I come back, you're dead. Should I, should I try to get out? If you get out and the truck falls in, you're dead. Well, if I don't get out and the truck falls in, then dead pretty much a lose-lose situation whoa move it lose it you almost ran me over no word does it say i have to be nice to you a few moments later i got told is i had to be somewhat nice to you as long as i'm working with you who told you that mr anderson i may it may have tried to get you fired so that i can get, keep the job by myself he told me that it's an all or none situation uh-huh you need us oh dear oh uh, oh no wrong way yeah. well okay I'm no. Oh, whoa. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Put it oh. We don't even have enough money to give Chris an extra pair of pants. All right, I'm going to head to the field now. Where are you guys at? Aren't you supposed to be at the field? Did that, did that man just say what I think he said? Yes, he did. And we saved his life. We're not even going to have time to finish up with the lineman at this point. It's not even 8 a.m. The lime place closes at 10. Why? It's like a holiday called Christmas or something like that. So, Why are we doing field work in December? Don't worry about it. You doing that field by the river? Yep. All right, I'll bring the tank down there for you so it's closer. Well, I don't think we're going to need it. It's only, well, I got 69% left. Oh, so oh, that right. whole thing of me almost dying wasn't even necessary. Not really. Are right, we yeah. heading back? I am. Happy still got a lot of work. And then I'm going to talk to the boss and try to convince him to give me a cheese sandwich. Boss man said that there's a co-op up in town that has another semi-truck like this one, but this used for manure. He wants to do a couple loads of manure on that field that we harvested off of the other day, okay? Uh, okay. Did you guys know this can go 88 miles an hour? Wait, what? No, I just hit 90. I just hit 90. I wouldn't recommend we go 90 in our truck, so Chris, slow it down, please. This shouldn't be called No Way Home. This should be no fun is what it should be called. There you go, yeah. Every time I go look at 
Nick House. Don't, don't, don't do that. Try to steal a van. Don't do that. Listen, somebody's got to be the parent around here, or we're going we to end up in trouble. I'm about done over here, so that means I get to go make fun of y'all for the rest of the day. Chris, have you not even started yet? I thought you were scooping it. Hey, boys, I thought I get down this field. Do I need to head down to the co-op and pick up the manure spreading truck? Yeah. Did boss man say you could get the uh, co-op spreader? Yeah, I'm going to go get it in a minute. All right, boys, I'm on my way back over with the truck right now. This is taking forever, so that's going to definitely speed up the process here. Oh, yeah, boys. It's throwing it out there pretty good. Hey. What, what was that for? What was that for? He stood in the way. Chris, uh, happy and allowed to ride back in the truck. No! <laughs> I'm not washing that tractor off. I was already planning on doing that. Don't worry. Happy, I'm on my way back to you, bud. Happy, go ahead and do us a favor and go ahead and get that semi-truck packed up and possibly go ahead and take it back. I should have the last little bit we need in mind. Yeah, I'm all out. Now, boys, y'all know the worst part? You know how we have the rest of the sunflower fields we still got to harvest? He wants it done the exact same way. Don't you love your job, buddy? So much hard work. Can we get a day off? No. You don't even Christmas? Alright, I'm gonna take this back where I got it from. Are we done for the day? Do you want me to pack some stuff up before I do that, or we, we still got work to do? We'll pack it up in the morning. Boss man, I understand. Nate, are they biting for you? Yeah, I got one right now. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Right. Boys! Oh, I lost What are we it. doing? Really, fish? It's free. I don't like fish. Too bad, it's free. How do you plan on cooking it? Uh, well, we got a microwave in our room. You're gonna cook fish with the microwave? Yes. Don't worry, they're not biting either. We gotta go to work anyway. We're yeah. out of luck. It's gonna be a good day. What is going on at this place? I don't know. This is a good town. out of these good looking trucks right here. Do we know what we're doing today for work? He said show up early. All right, then keep your secrets. Good. Uh, That's it. Did we fail that already? No, we uh, failed it's... That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We had to get some fish. If Can we, we ever stop get by there? Burger King since we didn't get fish? No Burger King. Last time you almost got arrested. Last time. I'm just checking this van for keys. That's illegal. No, that was two times ago, but you know, that's fine. Listen, we ain't got any extra money for you to be goofing off with. Yes, so we got $3,000 or $2,000. Exactly, and I want to buy another truck because I'm tired of y'all being in my truck. What do you mean your this truck? This is my truck. I found this truck. What are you talking about? Well, my name's on the deed. That's, that's not how that works. I'm on the title. She's an old, old, dirty, old truck. What happened? When the next time you gonna get here and wash her? Why would you I gotta wash your truck? Really, it's your truck. It's your truck. Why don't you wash her? You want to get in free your rides? Your name's on the title. Get out. I'm gonna talk to boss. Get out. We're already out of the truck. truck. I'm talking about out of work. Go. You're fired. You can't fire us. You're not. You're not the boss of us. I know. This is sad. Okay. You know, I'm not letting you talk to him by yourself anymore. Why? Yeah, we gotta all talk to him. All right, sir. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and take it on. Y'all ready, boys? Let's yep. go ahead and go get the harvester. And the best part is, I got the keys to this truck. That's a big truck. Do either one of y'all know where the dealership? is no i've never been there burger king burger king yes let's go to the burger king you know what did you get my whopper yeah here's here. your whopper oh, wait hold up boys i think i see it there it is oh yep. yeah perfect now just don't tell boss we we used his card for food what card yeah, exactly and we walk in here and find out where the food is ah there's a boy where we is get a four wheeler no. Pretty cozy, too. Chris, get off of it before you break it. Why do I have to be the one that has to be the parent? You ever gone to a dealership before? You're allowed to you'd sit in cars and stuff. Yeah. With our credit score, we really shouldn't be. Look at this credit score. 100. Is this yeah. the combine right here, boys? The 1420? That is the old girl. All right. Who wants to drive her home? I'll drive home. I like that dealership. It's close to Burger King. That does not mean every time we go to a dealership, we get to go to Burger King. Happy on the radio? Yep. Uh, uh, how fast your combine going? It's going about 15. All right. We'll see you in three hours. All right buddy let's go ahead and take this on to the shop that combine is slow we could probably get the first field harvested by the time he gets back jump on in there fire up i want me to get a tractor and we need a trailer right i was gonna let you do combine are you okay you feeling okay yeah i'm, I'm feeling perfectly fine all right let me hop in here let me just see how this goes how did you do that and yeah, we need to do a little bit of a pre-chip inspection all these tracks before we start going make sure things greased it's a little burnt in here looking i bet that's nothing to worry about yeah i think everything's looking good on this one as well so i'll follow you all right let's go why didn't you grab the bigger graddy wagons well because i wanted to bring the small one out to the field first that don't make sense what i don't know if y'all are gonna make it oh, oh y'all make it okay squeeze, squeeze. all right i guess i'll just start here is this thing running okay it's pretty pretty smoky it's That's just dust it's fine normal. chris did you have your blinkers your hazards on the entire time you were driving absolutely not absolutely not i think someone's spying on us what do you mean why would somebody be watching us I, I, why would there just be a truck there? That's what I want to know. Keep going straight. You should be able to see it just a second now into those bushes to the right. Oh, there it is. That speaks out. Wow. New York license plate. Okay. Nobody's in it. 
Boy, is this an old truck. Door don't want to open. There we go. Ooh, boy, is this kind of nice inside there. I'm going to come look when I get back to that way then. Stop moving. I'm trying to. It won't stop. Do you want to take a turn in here and you go look at the truck and I take a little bit of a turn in there? Sure. I wonder if we get that old truck and fix it up and resell it. Like an extra revenue stream for us? But yeah. I could get on board with that. I think it's full. I right, just take it back to the farm right now and we'll start with the big one. All right, me and you need to head straight to the second field. That sounds like a good plan to me. Well, I was happy on the side of the road. He probably just having a drink or something. Hey, boys, uh, the tractor blew up. That's a terrible drink. No, it didn't. The load must have been a little bit too heavy or something, and it was it was struggling, but I thought it was fine. Oh, yeah, she's charred a lot more. Yeah, she's done, boys. What do we do? I bet our best guess would be to go get another tractor. But... <sighs> but... There we go. Push it. Oh. Moving. I'll run down and get the Magnum and come back to pick up the graddy wagons. Yeah, I guess Happy will take care of that. We should just keep keep working, right? Yeah. You think we're going to get in trouble for that? Uh, Happy's the one driving, so Happy's the only one that needs to be scared. I like to think of us as a team. I love both of y'all, but this is the only source of a job that we have and the only reason we have roof over our head. So if he gets fired, he gets fired. Slow down, you speed demon. I'm only going 20. I don't think this field is yielding anywhere near what the other field was yielding. No, I agree. Right. It seems to be... Uh, Filling up a little slower than Blastfield. Happy say he's gonna come back over here and pick up these two, right? Yep. So right. we can head back and he's gonna take care of that for us. Hey Chris, if you look to your left, this is where you almost died. Oh, I remember. I have dreams about it every night, or should I say nightmares? You better not be running over my grass. Hey, you're breaking up real bad, bad, bad buddy. I'll talk to you in a minute. Just drive, Chris. Just drive. I am. I'm flooring it. Well, I got the JN and Gray cars in the back of the John Deere. So once Chris moves out of the way, I'm going to start loading up the sunflowers and the D's, and we're going to take it. Why is it we're always driving places? Um, I think it's part of the job. Why are you always trying to pass me? Because you're slow. I can't help my equipment's bigger, okay? What do you mean by that? It just it just stopped. What do you mean it just stopped? Um, uh, it just shut off and stopped. You out of gas? Uh. Uh oh, Lord have mercy. Call AA. Triple A. A A A. Yeah, call you don't AAA. want me to call AA? No, we'll, we'll need that later for you. Chris, how's everything well, going? Triple A just got here. He's refilling us up, and then uh, I'll be right up there. Well, Chris, um, the old man just told me to sell them. Thought they'd accept them over here at the co-op. Apparently not. I would say I feel bad for you for going to the wrong place, but I don't. I know you don't. How many times did you wreck going over there? None. Ten minutes, Elio. Uh, there we go. Chris, I don't know if we should be allowed back in here. Oh, yeah? Does it seem like a security issue that we're back there? No, it seems like we're going through a neighborhood with a tractor. Probably didn't help. I took the wrong turn. There we are. All right, I think that's, we got to go back and go get one more, and let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Anderson after it. All right, boys, we need to talk. By the way, here's your two sandwiches. It's turkey. Oh, Thank nice, that's an upgrade. He he gave us a deal. He said we could take the truck. It would take one of our paychecks. So it'd take a thousand dollars to buy. Oh. But on top of that, he is gonna buff us up to two grand a piece. So we would still have four grand, but he's gonna take two grand for it. It's still an increase in pay and a truck. Exactly. It's, it's still an increase in pay, and then the next time we'll get even more money. Sounds good to me. Here is the title of the vehicle. We got that. And then nice. I got the money as well. So we're good. Nothing else to do but go get our truck, I guess. Exactly. And by the way, happy I told and take your check. Why would you do that? All right, boys. I think everything's strapped down, looking good. Yeah, there we go. Are we allowed to store this at the place we live at currently? It is in a hotel. Most of the time, I would agree with you, but I've been paying attention. There's been about four or five vehicles that have not moved from that parking lot. But that may be the owners. Five owners? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, no. Do we want to turn this into a business? It seems like a no-brainer to do a business. Remember that uh, lot we were looking at earlier today? I wonder if that's for sale. Everything's for sale for the right price. Ain't that the truth. I agree there. Good size. It's got two different driveways. One here and one down there. And they've got this like, bush thing in the middle. This has to be two different lots. I think if we offer 30000 for the lot, we go get a $70,000 loan. And we put gravel down. And then we put a building for us to work on trucks. Yeah. We should do it. We starting now, right now. Uh, we no. gotta put it. We got. We gotta get the loan from the oh. bank first. We gotta so go let, talk let, to a banker. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It'll, it'll take a couple of days. Yeah, I'll Chris, let you guys go talk to the banker. I'm, Chris, I'm let's go home and start filling out the paperwork. All right. signing together. It's probably the best I approach. Guess. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's go fill it out. You playing in the water? 
What are you doing? You take care of my truck because you wouldn't take care of it. What's well, your name on the deeds or the title, whatever you call it? Yeah, yeah, get away. Get away. Just, yeah, get away, get away. Come here, Chris. Bath time. Yeah, you'd think they would uh, provide us showers in this hotel, but right, yeah, do there not. There we go. I get to pose y'all down when y'all get back because somebody gets to play in the mud. Not it. Not it. Guess it's not getting done. Somebody got to play with the cow, cow pies. Okay, I guess I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. How are we taking... Getting that back. Uh, happy. Go get a semi truck. They probably have one on the other side. Hey, Nate. Yeah. You see this waterfall? It's beautiful. He's losing his mind. Yeah, I've seen it. I got so distracted, I had to pull over. Get to work. It's time to work, man. Take, hold on, let me take a couple pictures. I'm going to run back and get the uh, tractor and front loader so I can load that. Would have been nice for Nate to pick me up, but he's already there, I guess. Did I just hear you say me be nice? I didn't think I am, though. Yeah, my bad. Didn't mean to say that. Once you get back over here, won't you go ahead and take the cultivator out and go ahead and start cultivating? We got to cultivate the fields that Happy's working in. Okay, so he can get a head start and I can come back and cultivate behind him. Perfect. I got the First load of total feeding mixture ready. Those cows are gonna be happy. Cows are happy. Let's just hope they're happier than happy. You know what might not be the worst idea though? What? What's that? To get happy to go back out there and do some more of that grass work that needs to still get done. I'll do that when I finish this up. Uh, the milk is a good majority full. Their slurry is all the way full. So we're gonna be able to start using Anderson's own stuff instead of having to go buy or pick that stuff up for him that he's buying. Right? Yeah, but here's the problem: does he even own his own slurry tanker? Thought that. If he doesn't, then uh, maybe maybe he should buy one because. What are we gonna do with it? What's he, what's his plan if he's if we're collecting it? Yeah, I mean he's out of storage space. It's completely full. It's gonna overflow soon. I'm about to put some straw in there, so hopefully we can start getting some actual manure instead. Of course, we put every single thing we have right there in front of the equipment I need. Well done, Happy. Well done. I didn't do it. Oh, well done, Chris. Well done. Do we have any seeds over here at the farm? You're gonna have to drive into town and get some seeds. I guess that's what's gonna happen. You know what makes this worse? What? I gotta drive all the way into town for seed, even though I'm seeding the spot right beside the house. You should pick up some lunch while you're at. I'm still full from earlier. Uh, so I'm not what really do you sure. mean earlier? What are you talking Wait, about? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh huh. No, nothing what is uh -huh. going on? Did you get something at Burger King? No. What is this transaction? What transaction? Fifteen dollars at Burger King about thirty-five minutes ago. Fifteen dollars? What'd you yeah. get? No wonder you're still full. You're breaking yeah. up on me. I tell you that. Just drive, just drive, 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 drive. Just smile and wave, boys. All right, boys. I got everything filled up, and I'm heading on back. Thank the Lord they didn't make me have to bring back any seed bags. What if you run out? Uh, if I run out, I'm gonna act like I didn't run out and just tell the boss man I did it. And when it grows, I'm gonna say, Look, it died. Okay. That doesn't sound like a good plan to me. So, Happy, are you content continuing on doing that and I go fishing for a little bit? No. Come on. No, no, no. You're not getting out of work. You're going to come over here and start doing this, and I'm going to start bailing. Do it right after I get done with seating. How long is that going to take? An hour. Sounds fishy to me. It does. I'm not paid enough. Hi right, there, bud. Hi. That is a big seater. That's not going to take an hour. There's no way. Well, it won't be too much longer before we have to harvest this field over here. Which one? Uh, I think it's like a field of barley or something. Yeah, it actually looks pretty soon. Next month month or the month after that. I mean, I've been able to play for too long. I can get me a good little fish in for a couple minutes. Oh, there, there's a gold right there. Yep, come on. Nate, what are you doing? Uh, we told you no fishing. I mean, I got nothing else to do. Chris took over the fertilizer so I can just sit here and fish for a while. You could ask Mr. Anderson what to do. I'm sure he's got plenty of jobs for you to do. Yeah, but I'd rather get paid to fish, okay? I just caught Nate fishing. What? Oh, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yep. No, you didn't. Was that a quadruple um, denial? A little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's the, he's definitely lying. Playing with this uh, manure, and we'll be all set. How much more you got left? Probably two minutes. All uh, right, I'm going to come over there and help you load up everything. That would be nice. <gasps> Why are you swimming in your clothes? Is this truck going back to where we rented it from? Yeah, it'll go back to where it's rented from. When we go do that, let's just leave Happy out here and let him continue doing bailing. And me and you got to go have that loan officer meeting today. Bye, Happy. Bye, Happy. Oh, don't run over my grass. What are you doing? Take the roads. They're there for a reason. This is quicker. Now the cows are going to get sick. By the time it gets the rain on it, it'll be fine. That tractor drove through the manure. And they live in the manure. What's the difference? Uh-huh. They don't eat it. Well, sometimes they do. Disgusting! Hey, Chris, I'm going to be going by there 80 miles an hour. Just jump in while I'm driving, okay? Um... No. There we go. All right, let's go into town. Let's go talk to the banker and hopefully go get that loan for that other property. Happy's got to remember to pick up our paycheck, though. All right. Whew, I almost forgot my hoodie. You just carry that? You just have that in the truck all the time? Yeah, I had my t-shirt on. All right, let's go in here and go have a conversation. And it's gone. This line is for people who have money with the bank only. Please step aside. Did you understand the terms? He was confusing me. I think we have, like, 
a year, two years to pay it off with our credit score. We have to pay a 10% interest. We should try to pay that off quicker. You know what time it should be? Uh, at Burger King time? No, if we got everything correctly, we should. The uh, guy should be over here to meet us at the lot so we can go ahead and buy it from him. Are we clearing this or are we paying somebody? Do, do we get enough money in that loan to pay someone to? No, we got about two grand that we can rent stuff with to clear this out one expensive moment later all righty we got it negotiated down to thirty thousand, but we still got a lot of work to do we gotta pay for people to come in here and gravel it we gotta pay for people to come build the buildings everything like that that's gonna cost us about forty thousand. we got six thousand dollars to clear everything out are we gonna do some of this work to save money too we're doing all the clearing what's next well we load up and go across to the dealership and we rent you know what? i'm not even wasting diesel we just walk happy's here what's up buddy tell me how much fun that is that's so much fun I'll Oh, that is so much fun. Did you get the chainsaw? I sure did. All right, and we're, we need to go ahead and start cutting down some of these trees. Hold I on, made a happy, good deal happy, with happy, happy. Hold on, you're here. Who collected the paycheck? I did. I got it right here. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and deposit it here. That guy in there's an idiot. He gave me three chainsaws, so we all have one. <laughs> oh, nice. What follows is a brief construction montage. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. This looks amazing. Oh, yeah. More if we could sell it for more than what we bought it for. I mean, I was, I was just going to say we could sell it for more now. <laughs> I'm going to take these back. Yeah, let's go ahead and take everything back before we get charged yep. extra for it. And now we got I'm going to start using this to start digging in some areas. This is something you don't see very often. Nate actually doing work. Hold on. I got to take a picture. Let me get my camera out. Hold on. No, no, no. That, that's not a good angle. That's not a good angle. About right. No, right, right about right about there. Yeah, right come here. Right just there. come. Right there. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. All right, boys. I think everything we've done our job. So I think it's now the contractor's job, don't you? Yeah. yeah. When are they supposed to get here? Uh, they said they'll be here late tomorrow, uh, tonight, and then they'll start working on it, start graveling it, and put down the new buildings. Did we put like cots or anything in this building so we don't have to pay rent anymore at a hotel? No, we did not. Oh, not oh darn. Well, listen, listen, listen. Technically, what they're doing is. We're paying for like some old buildings that they're just putting a bunch of supports and they're trucking them over from another town. Ah, uh, they're getting relocated. Oh, That's why it, that, gotcha. that explains why it's so affordable because they're just getting relocated. Mm-hmm. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to head on to the house. Wait, do you have a do you have a house somewhere that you're uh, not? Yeah, you with? have a house. A house, hotel, same thing. It's where we live. Uh, Nate, I gotta use the restroom real quick. I I gotta go bad. You know what? I'm just going home. Is Chris out here? We need to get that truck in front of that pressure washer. Happy Nate, where are you? We're at the house. You didn't wait for me. I said please wait. I'm gonna just gotta go to the restroom real quick. Yeah, no, we didn't wait. We needed to go in. We're, we're washing the old truck now. That's ridiculous. You got two legs. You can walk. Burger King's calling my name. I guess I'll, I'll make it home eventually. Hey, Happy, lock down the bank account so we can't use it. Okay, shut the debit card off. We're good. All right, you ready, Hep? Let's let's yep. give her a shot. Spray some ether. Uh, come on, come on, come on. It's alive. Oh my it's gosh. It's alive. It's, it's alive. Rolling. It's going. It's a smoking too. It's fine. It's moving. It's moving. We gotta go pick Chris up. You wanna drive the red truck? Sure. Did he stay at a camp last night or something? Yeah, he said he wanted to enjoy the peace and quiet. Between me and you, I think he was staying with some kind of girl that was over there. Honestly, he probably was. Apparently, this is private property. Is it really? That's what the sign said back there. I don't read signs. I don't think this is a road, Happy. It's alive? It's alive! Wow. We gotta run in this morning. I can tell you what, I feel relieved. No more stress. Beautiful night with with nature is that her name nature all right let's go to work happy this is the best decision you've ever made what you doing we're what's not doing, doing anything no. what's done what's done here <laughs> what's done we have branding oh i guess they must have finished big fear lifted trust boys we can check i want to check out the rest of that later we got too much work to do all right boys i'm gonna go find out what we gotta do today so the list is somebody's gotta take the milk to town sell the milk go buy a Wait. new riding lawnmower everything like that and cut the grass around the farm and then two people gotta go planting soybeans it is looking a little long out here he's going into town chris oops see if you happy i need to watch the bank account and make sure he don't spend any our money i just got a message on facebook it looks like somebody's interested in possibly buying the truck before we customize it and getting us to customize it hopefully oh so that it would be customized so the buyer's desires instead of it just 
Yeah, I like that. That's awesome that that's working out. You want to do the last pass, buddy? Yeah, I think it makes sense since this one's wider. I'm going to get out of your way. By the way, uh, talk to the customer. We have a plan, and he will be buying it. Oh, my goodness. This is too good to be true. But by the time we get done paying for all the customization he wants done to it, you're looking at about a fifteen to 20000 profit. It's not bad for our first flip. Hey, Nate, I got to I gotta run an errand. I'm going to let you finish it. There's not too much left. Yeah, I know. I'm finishing it up right now. All right, I'll take this back first, though. I'm on my way, boys. I'm just cleaning some stuff up here quick. Wow, looking good, looking good. Yeah, I was over here um, counting these cows, and it's getting kind of packed for this barn here in this little cattle area. I'm going to go talk to boss man until we're done and see if he wants us to take over some of those cows. We'll probably take a couple of those cows if we can. All right, boys, we got the paycheck. And then he told us to hook up to his cattle trailer, and he wants us to take as many as that trailer can fit to the local sale auction. Boys, I just found a button in here. Here. No. Boys. Oh, that's insane. I didn't know about that ahead of time. Did you get them all loaded up? Yep, pull yep. I don't think this old rebuilt motor was supposed to just supposed to do this right now. I'm back here to push if you need me. Why'd you feed Bessie so much? She's weighing you down. These some happy hafters. One auction later. Oh, we might only leave before we buy something. I like running up the price. I don't want to deal with the people getting mad at us for running up the price. We better get out of here. All right, so we're just going to pull this in right here. Now we got to go ahead and take this on over to the shop, and that should show y'all how it looks. Hey, boys. So, you know how we have this old truck? Yeah, what's up? It's out of gas. Call AAA. Like, you made yeah. me call AAA. But y'all are about the gas station. We don't have a fuel tank with us. We Buy one. Bring it here. All right, we're on our way back, Nate. Hi, boys. Bye, boys. You're good to go. Five right. gallons for you. All right, boys, I'm going to go ahead and take her on. We'll get her to the shop, Chris. Move her to lose it. What? Chris. What'd you get me? Fuel? Gas or diesel? I got you fuel. <laughs> Do we got to go all the way back to the gas station now? Uh, uh no, 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 no. I think no. the engine's probably... It's gone. It, it's just gone. <laughs> he just put gasoline in a diesel. Uh, Happy, would you mind dropping me off right here? I don't think he wants to see me for... I need to let him cool off. <laughs> No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Just happy. Make sure you bring him with you. Yep, yep. So how are we supposed to sell it to this guy now? What we'll do, we'll replace the engine again. Ah, so another four or five grand down the drain. And that's coming out of Chris's paycheck, right? Yeah. You know, I won't even argue with you on that. I... Yeah. Um, I think this is where you get out. Um, hey, Chris. What are you, I just what are you doing with that? I just want to talk. What are you, what are you doing just, with that? We, we just need to talk. Why, why are your hazards not on? All right, come here. I need to talk to you, too. All right. Drop roll. Uh, yeah, you stay back in that truck. I am. Trust me, I am. All right, boys, let's get fixed, and then uh, we'll we'll still make probably about 10 grand off of it. I didn't know it was going to be this nice. This is beautiful. We did spend a lot of money on the buildings. By a lot of money, I mean 10 grand. I mean, it's so pretty that you almost forget that somebody made a huge mistake. Oh, no, Chris. I know you made it already. Um, hold up. I'm going across the road. I'll be back. All right, boys. I went and got our first piece of equipment we'll need for this. It's time to get to work on it. Four to six days later. This is our first one, Nate. It's looking, it's looking oh, great. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a successful business. My goodness. That looks amazing. Y'all ready to hear yeah. more? We even had to replace the engine because somebody had by the way, we also got brand new red interior. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's coming yeah. now. After we pay about the loan, the business loan we took out, we're going to profit $10,000 off this first truck. All right, so we actually got to go deliver it, boys. And he also said that he had something he wanted us to kind of take from him. Are you happy? Back her off. Uh, I guess this may be his project vehicle he's talking about. Yeah, he said we can have it for an egg if we took two grand off the price tag. That's worth it, honestly. Oh, yeah, that's a done deal. Who wants to take this vehicle? Not me. I'll take it. How about this, boys? We all go get our own separate loans for the vehicles, and we have to buy our own vehicles, flip the vehicles, and whoever gets, the, whoever makes the most money takes the profit from all the other two people. All right, bet. All right, we'll shake that. your hand. Shake your hand. All right, I got it all settled, and I, I wired the money to the bank to, to pay off the business loan, too. So we are, we well, are all good. set here. Let's go deliver this. I saw a truck on Facebook Marketplace earlier. Happy, you go ahead and start looking for yours. All right, Chris, we got to unload yours. I got to take the trailer with me because mine don't run. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a 2017 Ford it's F-250. It is a good-looking truck all the way around. I think we can take it, put a new flatbed on it, paint her a different color, and this will sell phenomenally. I can't wait to see what this truck's going to look like, ladies and gentlemen. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you can't wait to see what this looks like. Four to six more days later. Ooh, it's time. It's time, Nate. Oh, yeah. All right, have to explain what you did to it. It was a super clean truck, so I just did a repaint. It was an ugly brown color. Added the uh, American Force wheels here with the mudding tires and, and added toolboxes and these... Uh, 
CB whips. Beautiful looking dashboard, looks clean in here, nice good leather. So how much did you spend on her? I spent about $15,000 fixing it up. Break even would be 20 grand. I bet I have a buyer for this for 30 grand, okay? 30 grand? Gotcha. I bet we I'll can get a buyer it. for that easily. So Chris, tell us about yours. Uh, you know, I went with the classic American flag decal here and then we lifted it a little bit, put these uh, rough, you know, off-road tires on it and, you know, added this nice little off-road kit on the front as well as the roof rack for storing a little extra. And since it's lifted, you got the little step there to, to get you on up in there. So of course we know you paid 2000. What'd you do in upgrades? So it costs about 20 after repainting Ooh. and lifting it and the tires and everything. Oh. Wow. It was, yeah, it, it was 20, so we, we need we need to get 22 to break even on this, but I don't think that'll be hard. So we need to shoot for about 35 for yours, if not 40. Well, it's a good old Ford. Um, so we had to replace the bed. We had to put a brand new paint job on it, brand new motor, brand new transmission, put a brand new cattle guard into her, and then, of course... Put a, a nice flat bed on it and i paid four thousand for the truck to begin with i put twenty two thousand into upgrades on this truck part of me kind of wants to keep it maybe put like my put like the shop decal on it and keep this as the shop truck that could be a shop truck that's actually a good truck for that too either way we're gonna get either good money or good use out of it Hey, Nate, just stole my truck. Oh, that's good. You got rid of that piece of junk? Not a piece of junk. He, he gave me 15000 for it. I spent about $15,000 fixing it up. Break even would be twenty grand. 15000 Oh, is that after you paid off your uh, working loan? Yeah. Where's Chris at? You know where he's at? Uh, he said something about getting a day job or a morning job or something. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. That boy and his jobs. He loves working. Don't tell Chris kind of want to keep her he'd give us two trucks now so we could be a to toast up but if that's the case that means i need to put more work in i need to buy a couple more vehicles to sell well, do you know where he's working at i mean I we need to try to go find him don't but we can stop for breakfast if you want to do that first yeah let's go stop for breakfast i'm taking my truck i'm kind of hungry what you want i'm taking some uh, good donuts yeah good donuts is anybody working today or what we're closed right now who said that chris that is like that chris. you we're, we're, like closed. Chris. we're closed we're closed right now chris Hold what up. are you doing on the floor Oh, Chris, what are you oh, doing here? Floor. Oh, I was looking for uh, a, my watch that I lost. I think it's, I think it was back here last time. Why was... would it be back here? Is this no, your morning job? No, no, no. Uh -huh. So then you wouldn't get in no trouble if all of me and Happy just kind of came up here to the donut store taking a couple of these, would you? Oh, yeah, exactly. Didn't Mr. Anderson need so us? I'm just going to take didn't, one, didn't, two. Didn't, didn't, no, no, let's go. Let's uh, go. Okay. All right, please okay. be here in I'll just a second. Myself. That was a setup. I thought you were selling that truck. Uh, uh yeah, but I got a test drive. Make sure it's running really, really good. We have any sales yet? Uh, we had Happy sold his. Somebody came by to look at your truck. No one, for some reason, wanna look up this truck. It's almost like someone forgot to maybe post it on Facebook. I wonder. Uh, I'll look into that later, possibly. Chris, go ahead and call the bank up and tell them we'll pay twenty thousand on our loan. We can afford that. Yeah, we have twenty-one thousand. Mr. Anderson, all right, today we got a harvest, we got a plant, and we gotta go pick up something new. But he don't want us to pick up the new thing until we're done harvesting. Hey, Chris, uh, how full does my hopper look? Can you see the grain still not yet? No, I'm a little too far behind. Um, you want me to stand on top of it with my binoculars? Where'd you buy those? In my uh, welcome pack from Dunkin' Donuts for some weird reason. I don't know why. When I, when I told you to quit uh, talking to nature, um, so what'd you do? Start uh, watching nature then? Yes. Illegal. Uh, I'll get the meeting with the therapist and AI, AA, okay? I already have those signs letting lined up, so. Well, we'll, we'll go with you. We'll go with you, okay, buddy? We'll, we'll go with you to tell that your therapist gone. what you've been doing. It's happy you could use it too, son. What do you mean I could use it? I'm perfectly fine. She said I either needed to go to college or I have to get kicked out because she wants me to have an education and I didn't want an education, so I left. Therapy. Hush now. I see why you're asking about the your hopper. We don't have any windows on this one either. No, you know what makes this worse is there's a window right here, but you can't see in the grain cut hopper. So I can look at the hopper, but I can't do anything about it. We need going straight. Do you got another job lined up? We're not a union or anything. Oh, yeah. no, sure. We don't got it. We ain't union. No. Uh, well, um, we can form a union. Good luck with that. Isn't it like literally union busting? What is Happy even doing over there? I'm mowing because the grass is ready. Mr. Anderson came over and talked to me and he, uh, he told me to mow. Did he give you a cookie too? 
Yes, he did. He calls them his special Scooby Snacks. I'll let you finish that row. Ten four, good buddy. I guess what we can go ahead and do is, because this one right here is going to be easy, um, we just need to lime it and prep it and probably put some spray on it and then uh, cultivate it. Right now? Might as well go ahead and get started. I will say this. The old man really needs to get a better John Deere tractor. I feel like the Case IHs around here really outweigh the John Deere's. There's one Case tractor and There's what, three John Deere tractors? One? Yeah. Yeah, more than one. there's only one on this well, the other one broke. Oh. Do you want to recant your earlier statements? Is he done? Yeah. Got the stretcher off right here in the field and we'll go to town real fast. All right, Chris Happy. So we got a little bit of a task on our hands. So he wants to get this repaired finally. And uh, he wants this right here to go to town to be sold. We need this. That's what he said. Well, we do got the other one in there. I guess he just wants us to work with one. I don't know. I'm not paid enough. This is why you join a union. Whoa, a little bit too far. Okay, no work. That, oh. I guess. Uh, now we gotta do the big thing. We could just use a winch and say we have a winch, but that works too. Can you put the ramps down real quick so we can save some gas mileage here? We'll fast, we'll fast and furious this. We got this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm on. All right, we're good. We're here. All right, we're here to pick up something for boss man, okay? Mr. Uh, Anderson? Yep. All right, apparently we're picking up a brand new tractor and planter. This one right here, buddy. No, it can't be. Yep, Mr. Anderson added another John Deere. I don't care what it is. If it's pulling this planter, it's going to make our lives a lot easier. That's massive. The good part about this is we still got that second planter, so we still got two planters. Yeah, but I'll just be using this one. Uh, who said you get to drive that home? Yeah, bye. You drove, no, you drove the harvester home last time. No, thank, uh, no, bye. no, no. Hold on, I was going to. Where'd he go? I like that. Welcome to the good Let's side, buddy. Let's change his shirts. Hey, you go on without me, okay? All right, I'll head back. I wonder. Mr. Anderson did give me his wallet. This is what they pulled around for us, and I think this is perfect for boss man. It's an older tractor. It has over, shoot, I think he said like 8,000, 8, like 8,000, 12,000, uh, hours on her this together only cost two hundred fifty thousand for boss man and i called boss man he approved of it so i'm just gonna take this over to the shop and i'm gonna drive that to back for the boys to see it you want me to back to the house safe for you yep we're here all righty i stopped and got us uh burger king my boss said i'm not allowed to eat there anymore oh, well happy can eat yours then okay yeah. sounds good to me I don't want to get fired. You sure you don't want a juicy burger? Just don't. You won't tell him? No, I promise I won't tell All him. All right, I'll be there to get in a minute. All right, boys, I'm pulling in right now. All right, here's your lunch. Thank you, but I want to know what this is first. Well, boss man was telling me the other day that he wanted a new uh, cultivating. Can't do a cultivation without a bigger tractor. Very nice. The only problem is this little blue thing right here. Oh, it's got death. Yeah, it's got government. Yeah. Oh, look at that, Chris. Dude, it's turning the it's turning it black. I was gonna say, are you sure you don't want to just do that whole field that way? Yeah, I'm positive. Let's just go ahead and knock it out. What is Happy doing? Everything all right? Yep, just getting the planter all set up for corn here. I gotta head out for a date tonight, so uh, you guys have fun planting. A what now? You a date? You shouldn't be surprised. Are you leaving because I changed sweaters? I'm kind of mad about that, but I figured that's you fine. would be. Whatever. There he goes. You realize that means me and you have to walk walk home, right? Hold up. <laughs> Bye. Happy. Have fun walking. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go back to putting the cultivator away. What's we'll stopping us from stealing his uh, Kubota? Uh, I've been dying to drive that. Planting uh, yeah. soybeans, right? Corn. Oh, corn. corn. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you know, it's pretty. It, the sweater, uh, this hoodie makes it a little hotter. You, you know it's even hotter? That you can find this is that hoodie I'm wearing on my Lincoln bio. Anybody that tweets me wearing my merch will get a shout out in a video. That's uh, because they need to be wearing this fire merch. Don't you agree, Chris? I do. It's knocking out some acres, I'll tell you that. How many rows is that? 16. I guess it's only twice the size yeah. of this one. Yeah, but how fast are you going with that's that? That's true. I'm only going seven. I'm going nine. Yeah, that's technically like i mean once you add up like the speed you're probably looking at like two and a half yep. times bigger than that that involves a lot of math and i really don't feel like doing math right now do the math in the comment section down below Alrighty, i am done there me too i may have found something on facebook you want to come check it out with me i'm not even gonna ask i it, it, i can hear it in your voice yes let's go see it all right where are we going nate all right we gotta go into town bud all right I can find that. It's a nice, it's a nice looking one. They say it should be around the corner on the right. On the right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. You see how many doors this thing has? Three doors. Okay. And a tailgate. That's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. You know what else it is? Probably expensive. Yeah, I think this is like where we need to be as a business, being able to buy this stuff and flip it. No, what we need to be at is where we're taking trust to have four doors and then adding the extra doors. Because I don't know That's about you. I can't. I can't.
can't I can't afford to do this one. I no. guarantee we go ask this guy, he's gonna want like forty, fifty thousand dollars for this truck. We only got seven thousand for our name. <laughs> I bet it's more than that. Hold on, you wanna go find out? Yeah, let's go find out. All right. Thank you. 50,000 is what he's wanting. Yeah. Will you hold it for a couple months? Months? We need years. I I, I think we uh, go home. I think it's time yeah, to go let's... home and go to bed. And then we need to go find Happy. You know we got to return this tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's not a road. Then that's a house. That's not our house. <laughs> Can I say, Chris, I think it's about time for us to get a new house. I'm tired of living over here. Maybe separate rooms? Yeah. I'm tired of cuddling up, waking up, cuddling up to Happy. Is he in the truck? Oh, he does know how to come back. About time you guys showed up. Okay, we can't help it. You took our only truck. Well, uh, that was my fault, remember? Yeah, you yeah, also have the keys fault. to the house here. I can't get in. That was your own dumb fault. How was the date? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. Let's go to bed. The next morning. Boys, I think we should today, this morning, before we go to work, even though we, I know we got a lot of work to do, I think we should go look for a new house. What do y'all think? Do I get my own room? Listen, I'm tired of cuddling up to you like you are me, okay? Yeah, Can we let's take do those that. Uh, trailers we saw next to... Honestly, I think it'd be cheaper, because three separate houses, that's going to cost us a lot more money. One house with three bedrooms probably runs us about two grand a month. I'm down with that. I guess. But we cuddled. If you want, you can stay here. I ain't staying here. Well, you're like, I guess. You're starting to press to leave. If you want, you stay. I, I want to get my own trailer. Oh, still got them blue. Okay, he's still in the blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he's still sad, yeah. He said, I don't want to talk about it. How about this one right here? This has to have three bedrooms in it. If nothing else, we can let Happy sleep in the living room. It'll, it'll work. Does it have a backyard? Yeah, yeah, we need to make sure it has a backyard so Happy can mow it. That's a pretty good backyard, don't you think? That's a pretty good backyard, yeah. Do you know a realtor around here, or what do we what do? we do? Well, what we can do is we just call him up after while we're working with Miss Anderson, and we'll find out how much it costs. If I had to guess two thousand that's a third of our paycheck we got the new business going so hopefully there'll be more money coming in for the trucking all right boys we gotta get to work we got work we gotta do today i hope i don't get a ticket i ain't seen a cop in weeks after the last disaster <laughs> unless you just dump him off on the river happy i heard that well i didn't say anything Chris! Oh, the Chris! Goes, Chris! Woo, trickster is he dead i meant to do, do that. his money wow okay you know what drop me off here hello yeah uh, yes, sir. This is he. Chris, happy. You on the radio? Yes. Hey, I need to talk to y'all when I get there. So, I got goodish news, boys. Apparently, we own another vehicle. Wait. What? Bro, you know how we ended up in the hospital and we don't really remember a whole lot? Yeah, is that about my painful headache? Yeah, we, well, we got those occasionally. Apparently, we owned a pickup truck, a trailer, and a Kubota skid steer. And so, we don't have to pay for it or anything? It's just our, ours? We, well, we have to pay for the shipping. Which for shipping was 4000 like I said. That's Chris? not terrible. What are we doing? Oh, are you going to talk to the boss? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll talk to him. All right, thank you, Mr. Anderson. And I'll totally give him the cookies. So Cookies? Cookies, give me him. No, 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 he had no cookies. He's lying, okay? He's old. He's getting dementia. By the way, Mr. Anderson don't look like he's doing too good, boys. We ain't, get, we ain't paid to worry about that. So we need to concern about what's going on now. So okay. we got to get going with planting soybeans and planting corn. I could do the soybeans. Okay, yeah, you can go do the soybeans. Um, I'll do the corn. What's Happy doing? I'm going with Mr. Anderson to look at a, uh, a cattle farm. Let us know how that goes. Don't spend all our money. Yeah. Remember, we need four grand of it to pick up that delivery. I'll leave you four grand. Yeah. Later. I'm done over here. How you doing over there? I'm gonna be a minute, but it's coming along nice. All right, I'm on my way over there. I just got, I just got everything switched over to soybeans. So we'll go ahead and get yours knocked out, buddy. You heard anything from Happy yet? Not a peep. I'm sure he's busy uh, planning his empire. I I'm gonna ask you a question, Chris. Are we sure we want to allow him to start up a cattle farm? My perspective is he said he got his own loan, and uh, if he's successful, it's on him. If he fails, it's, it's on him. All right, and then we kick him out to the curb and tell him rent is due on the first. Okay. Hey, Chris. I you doing all right, bud? You just about to finish up here. All right, I'm gonna start heading on back towards the house. All right, I just got a little area I missed over here to finish up, and I will be right behind you. Well, Chris, I think they're here. You think? Yes, let's go ahead and unstrap it. I mean, and go ahead and pay the man the four grand, by the way. There we go. Watch out for the... Oh, that was close. Well, apparently we own this. I feel like I remember this Kubota from somewhere. Let me sit in it. Oh, okay, you sit in it. Does, it. does it bring any memories back? I can tell you've been in here. There's a lot of rappers everywhere. It's dirty as all oh, get out in here, though. It's, like, it's almost like this has been used for dirt pushing. You're saying something about gold well i know they do a lot of gold up in the yukon i mean have you never watched the tv show gold rush if this came from the yukon and we were in the yukon why didn't we just stay in the yukon 
Like, why, why were we flown back to Yukon after everything? Because we're U.S. citizens, probably. Ah, true. Not gonna lie, it's actually a really nice truck. But you know what? This is perfect. This gives you, me, and Happy each our own truck. I mean, at least we got a Kubota now. I mean, this might come in handy because I know you're wanting to open up like some kind of like place, like camping area. This might come in handy, like clear land with. It definitely would. And I, gosh clear land gosh that sounds familiar i mean who knows well one thing i know is we gotta get back to work one extremely annoying shift later all right chris i guess happy said we need to come out there and look at his new project i'm excited to see it can't wait for happy to see that truck and skid steer to see if it rings a bell with him but let's get down there i think this is it over here bud oh there is a little opening there okay oh a cornfield hold on hold on mr anderson owns part of this god dang it that means more corn we have to harvest oh there he is holy moly wow and now i need to know how much of a loan he got for this hey guys holy what's up moly. hi hi how are you pretty we're good here. we we're just closed on it okay how much is you okay. spending a little over seven hundred thousand dollars that ain't that bad all right uh show us the, no. sh show us the place we got this main dairy barn here we'll have most of the cows in there we got this bale shed over here up here we've got this building here which will be a uh, shelter for the cows in this pasture got a nice pasture back here for them to roam got another uh dairy barn here main barn for equipment wow. two silos for silage i'm sure you guys saw the cornfield on your way in mm -hmm. yep that'll be for silage we'll chop that so you don't have to harvest that nate i heard you complaining about that How? i just want to point this out whoever did this didn't uh compact this side too well did they i think that's for you know when winter comes and it expands and you know that's 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 yeah. a oh, drainage uh, a, de thing, so. a design so it'll, okay yeah no so it'll drain this way out yeah that's what i that's what i've heard totally not trying to save happy i'm not an expert but i i i'm pretty sure i saw a snake in this tall grass you should probably cut it that man picks up a snake right now i'm going towards the truck and i ain't coming back for him i am never picking up a snake pretty nice out here happy huh. you did a pretty good job just don't jump in here right because you could i don't want to get mixed hey, hey come right here okay happy uh, uh, all right chris uh, uh, let's help you up let's get you in there so when's the funeral uh well i mean we don't have to say it's a funeral i mean just feed it to the cow and feed it to pigs we'll be fine oh I'm man right, yeah, he yeah, made yeah. it out yep. ah shucks. yeah it wasn't on hang on that uh, boys I don't know much. I'm tired. We've worked a lot today. And I just, I did get the call back, by the way, Chris, while we were waiting for Happy to tell us that he, everything got finalized, that it is going to be $2,500 a month. So I just, I think we take all the money from Happy's paycheck and then me and you, Chris, will split uh, $250 a month. How's that sound? By the way, Happy, uh, do you remember at any point in our lives having a Kubota? It's good not really. It's not ringing a bell. All right, let's go back to the farm and we'll yeah, let you yeah. see it. Okay, man? All right, Happy. Does this run? name bells to you oh my gosh i remember you guys don't remember this truck it looks familiar but that's about it you remember the yukon right this is where it's from we had a gold mining operation up there we knew it do you guys not remember that when did you remember that hold up As i came around the corner we had a, a massive gold mining operation it's slowly coming back to me i think we were driving back after a load and nate's poor driving skills uh we kind of wrecked off a mountain okay i'm not that bad of a driver i don't think i would ever do that okay there's no proof of that flashback it's the only thing we know these days oh oh and of flashback i'm telling you it's coming back to me could there be a couple million out there we don't know about there could be should we go to the yukon sometime yeah when there's nothing to do like we don't want to lose this opportunity here but i'm itching to know i would just want to get the money and come back come back and maybe sit on the beach for a few weeks and you could fish without people yelling at you listen i don't fish that much by the way we're having fish sandwiches for supper tonight boys so proving my point i'm going to burger king yeah okay we'll go to burger king we'll get the fish sandwich from burger king no, we, we cannot escape. escape we cannot come out all right i'm gonna go Clear the paychecks. We need to go ahead and pack up everything. I don't know about y'all, but it's time to head home. We need to head on back to the motel for last night. Hopefully. I need you guys' help. I'm picking up equipment tomorrow morning. I may have spent five hundred thousand dollars on uh, equipment. Anderson let you spend that much? Well, it's from the loan. Oh, okay, that makes Can sense. Can we get rid of him now? That man makes me sad. Get rid of him. Hey, Dylan, Josh, I'm going back to the house. The next day. We've been out here for like thirty minutes. Wait, oh, never mind. There he is. Yeah, hey, I'm right here. Where's your sunglasses? I don't need them today. You look weird without them. So. Fine, I'll go get my sunglasses. Isn't that better? A uh, lot better. What are we doing? Well, I guess we're up and out happy today, because the old man said he really ain't a whole lot to do. He said we just need to make sure we get the cotton planted eventually. Where did all these trailers come from? What trailer? We have two trailers just sitting out here in the parking lot of the dealership. One of them's ours. I don't know where these two are. We have three. We have two of them are ours, and one of them is random, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, we don't own because the one. We had one. We had one with the dealership, and then this one came. We so we just one. got this. We got this last time. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. this is our only trailer we should have. Um, guys, I think this is Mr. Anderson's. We brought the truck <laughs> out from the field and we brought it on this yeah, trailer it here. Is. I think you're right, and I think that other one's a rental. So we're They're going to charge us so much for returning <laughs> that late. <laughs> Okay, so hey, look, we got three trailers right now. Let's at least use all three trailers to get stuff to the cattle farm. All right, yep, yep. Don't worry, happy. You better not be hitting the new tractor, I swear. No, I would never hit the tractor. Perfect. Fits like a glove. You know what? I'm being a gear jammer. I'll see y'all later. Who said you get to drive the truck before I do? Me, myself, and now. <laughs> all right, so I just dropped that off right there. Pretty simple. We're going to hit on back real fast. Countless OSHA violations. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back it on up in here. Get out. We'll attach the lines real quickly. There we go. You have returned. All right, I'm going to start hiking. All righty. So we loaded up this cattle trailer right here because Happen needs it very badly onto the flatbed because we can't leave our flatbed here. Hey, uh, Nate, are you on the radio? Yeah. Are you getting uh, that livestock trailer back? Oh, yes. We're getting it back ASAP, man. I didn't like the way you said that it's it's attached to the truck that's all you need to know and ladies and gentlemen that's not lying by the way it is technically attached i'm just saying all right here's I, told your you, I told you i knew you were gonna do it i knew it. i ain't doing that wrong i mean you told me you wanted it here we at, got it here as at least possible. you made it and it didn't fall off the trailer that's what's important here oh yeah now what's gonna be really fun is i'm gonna use this anderson's truck to get it off don't wreck mr anderson's truck uh no guarantees it's on your farm so good to see you there we go come on come on there she goes, look at that. So now to part this in the most awkward position possible. Just put it in a normal spot. Me do something normal? You don't know me too well. There we go, perfect. You might want to just return that trailer, but I don't think we need it anymore. I think that's the rental. I really don't want to know how much the rental is going, how much they're going to charge us for having well, this rental. Well, the longer so. we wait, the more it's going to be. <laughs> well, I mean, we do have a saving grace. Somebody is looking at Chris's vehicle. Uh, someone's been DMing on Facebook about it. But if we're selling that vehicle, we need to replace we need to eventually get more vehicles yeah the lot's looking kind of bare right now i need to go see if my credit's any good for get a couple maybe you can take out a couple loans too i'm not becoming chris wrong series, <laughs> wrong series. <laughs> <laughs> all right sir there's there's the nine grand all right you have nine a good one grand. Dang radios we need to fix these suckers hey uh nate are you on the radio yeah. Uh, why did you park the semi in trailers like that convenience convenience huh it looks Unconvenient. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna make. All right, boys, I'm bringing, I'm bringing everything back. I got the last load. Don't worry about it. How okay, did the he? The is dead on that truck. How did he do that? All right, let's get this off. Uh, I'm not touching. You're, you're getting it off. All right, there we go, boys. All right, happy. I'm taking this out of Anderson. Chris, we need to go to work. Yeah, we need to plant that cotton, right? Oh, you like that tractor? Yeah, he likes the red one. Yep. It yeah, was already yeah. pre hitched, and I'm not switching out tractors to hitch up okay, another one. Okay. Who says hitched? Uh, turn my blinkers off, and now we just gotta sit here and relax for a little bit. All right, Chris, I'm finished. How about you, man? Yeah, I'm already heading back. Took longer than it needed to, honestly. Are they all planted now? Yep, all the, we're done with planting now. Dang deer. Let's let it run by. No, I was looking over here at the edge of the field. It looks like the deer ate some of our corn over here at the edge of the field. Come look at all this. Like, look at all this right here. This is terrible. Uh, we can't even be having this stuff in the entire field. I just noticed it. I wanted to stop to see it. That's interesting. It's unfortunate. Cows need food. The cow says... I can take care of that while you go get some chemicals. I'm trying to see if Mr. Anderson has any like surplus of chemicals anywhere before I leave. Dude, I wonder if Mr. Anderson's going to be nice enough to rent us a big sprayer so we can knock it out real quickly. He spent all his money with me on the cattle farm, so. Yeah, I wonder how much it costs to rent one of them things then, because I don't really want to see you with this little sprayer all day. I'll be back in a little bit, Chris. I'm going to go get the chemicals. Okay. Alrighty, so we just got ahead and got here. We've already loaded up the stuff on the sprayer deck, and they told me that they will deliver this to the shop. AKA Mr. Anderson's farm. Mr. Anderson rented this for 24 hours for $5,000 for us. Thank Lord he did. We're going to take everything on back to his place and we'll see you once we get there. What did you buy? I didn't buy. Mr. Anderson rented a couple things. I'll explain this to you, Chris. Don't think you ever saw one of these before. So basically, we have the chemicals up here and they run down into these vats right here and they mix with water. The water thing that goes directly into the sprayer. So we take this out to the field with us so we don't have to drive back and forth to the farm. Bingo. And then plus something else should be arising arriving here in a minute. Can you believe this only costs Mr. Anderson five thousand dollars a day? How wide is that thing when it opens up? I have no clue. Holy moly. One more I'm I'm on my last pass. This is knocking it out quickly, buddy. Yeah, the combo here is pretty nice. I'm gonna head over to that soybean field up there in the top corner. Okay. So remember if you where are you at next? I'm gonna go to the fields on the other side of the farm. Alright, because I'm about to say we still gotta go spray the cotton one, but that needs a type of pre 
free emerge. Chris, uh, let's finish the best fit over here, bud. Yeah, I just got the cornfield done. About to do the soybeans next. The, this is fast. I like these jobs. Wait a minute. What's going on? Hold up. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, I got a problem. I got a problem. I got a problem. I got a problem. Please help. Please help. Please help. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Chris, have you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Well, we got a problem. The tractor may have malfunctioned. We're missing a boom arm now. Missing? It's not missing. It's uh just holding on by a thread, if you know what I mean. I have no idea what that means, but it doesn't sound good. Is this the one you rented? I, I didn't rent it, Mr. Anderson rented it. But it's rented. Yeah, that's rental. That's not okay. good. Did we sign uh, the, the insurance waiver on that? I don't know if he did or didn't. Yeah, bring some buckets because chemicals are pouring on the ground. Hey, Chris, 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 Chris. How about you, me and you drive away from this and when Happy Cup comes up, we call the cops to say Happy was the one driving. You want to run from the cops in this? Why did you bring this? That's what this? I was in. I was, I was sitting in it when you called us. I, I panicked. I panicked and drove up here. A bucket in here. There. Oh, look, happy sick. Drive, happy drive, 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 drive. Uh, guys, get over here. Guys. For you. Have a good one. Uh, guys, the, the the cops are on their way. I I can see them coming. Uh, what do I do? Uh, how about, how about take the fine for me? You'll be fine. Just take the fine and I give it to you. No, 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 no. You were the one driving. I, you're like, you're the only one on scene. You're the only one on scene. It's a bad thing that the footage is going to get corrupted all of a sudden. The cops just left. They gave me a $10,000 fine that I've got to give to you, Nate. Why to me? We all know who was driving. We may know, but whose name is on that ticket? Uh, exactly. Okay. Hey, enjoy that, buddy. Enjoy that. That's, that's, my, that's your Christmas present this year. Well, uh, you have to go get the sprayer. How about you call the dealership and tell them to come pick it up off the side of the road? Okay. I, I bet they'll love to hear that one. Yep, and then I'll tell them to call you if they have any problems. Anderson will handle it. Actually, let me check with him. Let me let him know this happened. Hey, Chris, what did he say? He didn't answer the door, so I don't know if he's napping, showering, or if he's gone. Um, we'll see him when we collect our paychecks. So, boys, since it's still early in the morning and we've kind of done all of our work today, spraying, you've dealt with the cattle farm. Anybody down to go buy new trucks and buy some trucks to the dealership? Shopping? Sounds good for me. Yeah, let's go shopping. I want to go shopping. And by the way, how much was that ticket? $10,000. All right, I paid it. Oh. Chris, did you know that? Did you know we didn't have ten thousand dollars on our banking account? I I did. I think we need to drop the price of my uh, my little van and try to sell it. We need to drop the price of that. So <laughs> yeah, we need to get that thing gone ASAP. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. <sighs> Happy, you need to learn to drive sprayers correctly. Okay. You're so funny. Hey, in the comments, say everyone, Nate can't drive, please. And Gilbert, if you put that in my video, you will be on a point. <laughs> Worth it. 12 seconds later. Oh, the one bush that's real. Hang it. Hashtag I was going to take a Chris shortcut. Drive. So we don't have a trailer now. We had three trailers last episode. Now we have two. None. Can we at least have one here? Oh, we just didn't bring them back. Hey, Chris, you want to come with me? We're going to go buy us a new truck. Yeah, I can go with you. All right, let's head on out, boys. Uh, Nate, uh, happy. I lowered the price on the uh, American flag SUV over there to 30, 33000 See if we get any bites. I think that's it over there, boys. That white truck? That's gray. That's white. It's not too terribly bad. How much do they want for this, Nate? They're wanting. 20,000 is what they're wanting for this. So 2016 has 250,000 miles. That's the problem. Oh, that's the problem. But I think if we take it, cut it in half and then add more. Add more seats. Uh, you you want to physically add, add, cut this truck in half? Physically cut this truck in half and extend it. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, Why? like that, that one we saw down, yeah. down the road. Yeah, yeah, like that one right there. Why? Because what? people are stupid and they buy stupid things. All right, thanks, sir. Yep, we appreciate it. All right, boys, go ahead and load it up. It's all ours. You're good. 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 <laughs> Perfect, right there. Well, Happy, didn't you have a vehicle you wanted to go look at? Yeah, it's right down this road, actually. What do we, what do we got here? We got a 2006 Chevy Silverado. Looks like the game's gone cuckoo. Got uh, 115,000 miles on it, and they want $15,000 for it. So we should be able to make at least five to $10,000 in profit. Well, I, th I think I can make more money than you. My computer's on fire? You want to go against each other? Well... Okay. You drive that back to the shop. Me and Chris will drive this back, and I'm going to work on my truck. You work on your truck. 
Winner gets all the profit. Nope, not doing that. I'm in debt so bad. I need the money. I need to look at this real quick. Nate, what do you think? Yeah, let's hey, let's put a big spray paint on the side that says the free candy inside too while we're at it. Okay, that's a good point. So, uh, why are you guys not back yet? I've been back for like 15 minutes already. Because Chris decided he wanted to look at a free candy van. Yeah, oh. there's this cool white van that I thought I could uh, I could restore, but Nate Nate reminded me that it was a bad idea. So. All right. So what the plan is here is we're gonna take this truck inside of our shop over there and we are going to cut it in half and basically make it into a longer vehicle and i'm gonna go ahead real fast and clap and we'll have it done three two one wait a minute that's my job guys and girls this is what we're coming out with looks like happy has his truck done now let's go uh, talk to these boys all i really did this thing was add a suspension and make it a dually and i got these wheels shipped from custom offsets it cost me seven thousand dollars to build this out so total i'm up to twenty-two thousand put into the truck i'm gonna sell it for 30. i should make seven grand that's a lot cheaper than what mine was Ooh, let's see that yeah, let's see let's see All right. really like? i'm not compensating for anything i swear so this is kind of hilarious this is now a cross between a 2016 and a 2018 ford super custom this moon yeah. roof is insane oh gosh it's the whole whole roof that's insane Yep, and we also add in the dually in the back. So now this is official dually, new motor, new transmission, the whole nine yards. We spent twenty thousand the original buy. The ending price we end up paying in total for the rebuild. We end up spending another twenty on top of it, so we end up at forty oh, grand. So forty grand to break even. Seventy thousand is what we're listing it at. No one's gonna pay seventy grand for this. You have no clue. And I already got a couple people wanting to buy it. Where did all this money come from in our account? So I got I got my car sold thirty three grand and uh now we're even so see you later where, where are you going where where is he going i just want to be clear i don't owe you any more money for putting unleaded in your diesel i didn't take any of the profit at all went back into the business yeah we're even happy technically that white truck is yours do you want to sell that white truck and you keep your chevy i sell this i'm getting a nicer chevy i'm not gonna be gonna handle a nicer chevy but okay all right so we'll leave this in the lot so we got three trucks on the lot now boys hey, no no chris get out for a minute all right so we got one chris here we're selling it for ten thousand dollars slightly used place your bet in the comments all right chris stand right no no chris get back over there you're for sale you gotta stand just, here for three i weeks. wanted it to be clear that my truck's not well the truck goes with you yeah it's a two-in-one how long do i have to stand here for until somebody buys you all right that's your chris come on we need you to move we gotta move out of the hotel today like this like i'm dancing you want me to dance there you go drive that price up all right let's go move out of that house so are you doing your um tomater impression right now rick Shoot, I'm the world's best backwards driver. All the way. We're going like this all the way. Hey, before we leave, boys, y'all want to have one last fish sandwich from the microwave? Nope. No. You sure? I'm good. I will never eat one of those again in my life. I got my stuff. Hey, now. Hey, now. All right, boys, we officially get our own rooms. And Chris don't even know where we live. Am I not going the right way? You should have went straight. You can get there this way. Oh, yes. Finally. Home sweet home, boys. Hey, boys. You know we forgot to get paid, right? We have to go all the way back. Yeah. I mean, I want my paycheck. Do you not? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I want the money. Let's go. Not driver. Uh, let's get a paycheck. I'm tired. What? He's not answering the door. He hasn't been answering all day. You know what? Just open the door. Yeah, we just opened the door. All right. Three, two, one. Boys, he's not. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. I don't think he's barely breathing. We got to get him, 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 him out. Pick him up. Come on. Get him in the truck. Get him in the truck. I called it. I called it. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about the loss. I think it's about time I go ahead and tell you all about this wheel. What'd you say? I'm going to start off with Mr. Happy. Old man has left Country Road business to you and the debt that comes along with it. Since he has no children or anything, the farm itself will be diverted one third to each of you. Uh, there is money apparently that comes along with it. It's somewhere around 150000 All right, sir. Where do we sign the dotted lines? Have you sign first for the business, and then yep. I'll have everyone sign this other piece for the farm. Yep. All right. There we go. So again, sorry for y'all's loss, but here y'all go. All, All right. right. Well, you. thank you. All right, boys. They said the money we deposit in our account here pretty soon. What are we going to do with the farm? Because I have a business, you have a business, and 
He's him. That's gonna be tough figuring out who's is what. That's tough. To make it fair, we gotta make sure the uh, dollar amount's the same, pretty much. I think we should all be able to at least take one piece of equipment from the farm. One tractor and one implement. That's all, you know what I mean? That's yeah. guaranteed to be yours. You can choose that. And then everything else we'll go through and we'll divide it up equally. And then you can decide if you want to keep that tractor and implement or sell it, right? It's yours. Yeah, so. it's yours. You'll you'll choose 100%, but it's yours. So we should head to the farm then, right? Yeah, we should probably Very go much. look at all that. I'm not driving. I like how we all went to the passenger side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to drive. Right. Well, <laughs> you want to talk about it, Chris? <laughs> All right, Chris, what was that? What's that you have to my driving? I, I, don't, uh, so yeah. I, need to, I need to pull the steering wheel over. Hey, that's a that's a bush you can't run into. <laughs> you want to talk about it, Chris? So when is your fails video coming out, Chris? The uh, back just bouncing. Looks like it's twerking. Anything in here? There's not. Dang, I was hoping there's some magic surprise for us in there that was like... <laughs> hey, Nate, a, you get the mower and then... It'll we get some yeah, yeah. No, 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 Happy, I bet he picked something red. You better, you don't know me too well if I'm picking something red. Happy, do you have hay equipment? Yeah. Okay, so you don't need none of his hay equipment then? No, unless you guys want to go in on it with me. I'm not sharing no loan. Why not? Listen, loans apparently haven't worked out for me good in the past, okay? Well, family worked great. You do remember that this is a spinoff of the Millionaire Challenge, right? You remember how that went for me, right? <laughs> you remember how that went for me? <laughs> that didn't go so good last time. Oh, damn. Didn't see you there. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to pick this one. I like the only because the antennas. What do you take? He's taking the, what is it, 50-20? 50-20, yeah. I, I have to take the 50-20, okay? Moving this out of the way. I want that cultivator. That's fun to drive. Is that the one you're taking? I haven't showed you. I'm just trying to get everything up here to oh, look yeah, at yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Happy, okay. are you going to get rid, are we going to get rid of these cows or are we going to transform them to your farm? Yeah, they're going to my farm. We could do this like to where each of us picks up each. We could do draft and, like, style? Yeah, draft style. That's what I'm trying to go for. Is there something that would actually be helpful at the trucking business? Sadly not, but. Yeah, that's Sucks. But I have an idea on my hands. Is that your second pick or first pick? This is my first, first pick. Nice. Going this red. Is, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know one of y'all would have chosen the next pick. I so. would for sure. I, <laughs> that's what I was going for. Was. We're going with the big planter. If Happy was smart, he'd be able to choose some of these trucks to help feed his cattle with. But we'll oh, see. that's true. I've already got a big semi with a feeder trailer. That's the thing. And you have the automatic mixer too. I got a nice starter kit up here. I mean, honestly, we all do. Think of Mr. Anderson's truck. That's a fair one. That's a good one. I'll give you that yeah. one. Bingo. I'm taking these two gravity wagons. Okay, so I am picking pretty much everything that's in the shed. The you cannot bucket, do the that. Bucket, the bailers, you cannot bales. do that. So that limits you what? from picking anything else. That's Bucket's mine. So you can have the baler and I can have the... I need we, the straw bales. We, we get, take... We'll give him the bales or something like that, but it eliminates him from but it eliminates him for two rounds for for the next round. So my best bet is just to go with the other set of wagons. I think I'm gonna take this lawnmower. You idiot. Don't you have one? Since, the red he's, one, yeah. since he's taking that, I'm taking this. I'm gonna kill you. That's my next pick. <laughs> well, what was your next pick? I, is... wanted, I wanted the freaking mower. Hey, I'll, I'll do a trade. So we're going with land now. I'll take 57. 59. Uh, 61. Well, boys, we officially have everything separated. Now, do me a favor. Get yourself off my farm. Thank you. He's smart. He took the farm. Oh, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna pick it, but then he, he got the Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I got all, I all the buildings. I can't yeah, wait to all the buildings, the house. I'm keeping the farm. I'm deferring to sell. Oh, I'm just going to keep. You're moving out of the house we just rented or bought or whatever. Yep. Was. And I'm taking my. Yep. So y'all gotta defend for yourselves. So Chris, what do you want for yep. the harvester? I'll give you my portion of the cash and the mower. I'm not trading. I would rather go into debt than trade anything that we I got here. How much y'all gonna sell those fields for, by the way? I might start my business on them. You're going to start. Hold on. You're going to start your business in <laughs> my farm. Let's talk about this one. I'd rather buy you out. I, I will go get me a loan to buy you out. How much to buy you out of it? It's going to be two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. All right, I'll go get me a two hundred fifty thousand dollar loan. Well, I guess this is what I got left to deal with. Um, I'm just going to probably put it off in the shed. I'm looking to buy me a new harvester. I need honestly go get me a three hundred thousand dollar loan probably so that I can afford everything. I know we got some stuff in the bins that we're all going to split them on since I haven't been set yet. The cattle are going with half everything else once we get done with all that i'm gonna try to put more cattle in there and i'm gonna start doing that stuff nate are you on the radio 
Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, Happy and I were just chatting about your offer for us to possibly stay with you for while until we get our own farmhouses established. Was there some stipulations there? Just help out on the farm every now and then. Okay, I think I definitely wanted to be up on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to work with the rental company and see what it's going to take to get out of that lease? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that. Actually, I got one stipulation for you, Chris. We, I get to use your harvester. You can use my harvester. Yeah. All right. That sounds like a fair deal. That's a done deal with me. I'm, I'll let y'all live here with me. I just get in the master bedroom. You're a cattle, the cattle mixer. What would you want to tell that for? I was going to turn it into a grain truck, but if you really want it, uh, 20 grand? Yeah, I'll do that. Because okay. I'm going to, once you move out, you need to get all those cattle out as fast as you can. Once you get all those out, yep. I'm going to replace them with younger heifers because those were, they're older. They're a lot yeah, they're older. Old, yeah. yeah, it's about time for them to go to the house anyway. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll run that mixer down here later today then. Uh, uh, Alrighty, I guess I need to go ahead and start transferring stuff over. I guess we'll see y'all back once we get everything transferred. You, you break down over here? No, I'm replacing a pump out of here. What's going on with you? Well, just kind of sad since... uh. Happy decided to move. Yeah, he decided to move, sadly. Do you even know where? I think he said Iowa. He sold his rights to that business and got it to, like some cash out with that. And he's moving to Iowa to start new. Or, I think that's where he was from originally. I know he was from Iowa. I mean, that's where I first met him was actually Iowa. I guess I was right. I'm shocked. Me and Happy way back in the day, there was a farm that we used to own that I think I spent a million dollars on. We didn't succeed. Oh, maybe he wants a second shot and wants to succeed this time in Iowa. Maybe. There, there's probably a good chance. Um, I know we were like 200000 short of what we needed. That's like 80% there. 80% there don't pay the loan payment. I mean, if you're in school, that's a great grade. Believe it or not, not banks don't accept eighty percent as a full payment. Yeah, B minuses are not acceptable in adult life. Yeah, sadly, kind of sucks not having them around. And plus, the land that he sold, there are new neighbors. I don't like them too much. I ran in, so I was at Dunkin' Donuts. There was these people I haven't seen in town before, and they were just kind of snotty. They're kind of snotty, like stuck up. Well, you know like what it. their plans are with his land, right? No, the neighborhoods. Are you kidding? No, that that's their plan with it. It's putting neighborhoods over there. I don't want a neighborhood that close to my farm i can't believe zoning approved that that's what does that mean for are they gonna want to expand this far yeah they are they've already offered me cash for this place are you thinking of taking it i mean it's 1.8 million for everything nate you gotta take that i mean i'm kind of, i'm leaning towards it i don't know like have they offered you anything yet this is the first time hearing of it so i'm out of the loop you remember that dealership we bought that, that we had yeah yeah that's part of what they wanted as well they're going both directions mm -hmm. i don't like it i don't either but i've already her there's some of the other farmers are selling out like they're offering real they're offering 10 percent more than what the land is worth in some areas now me they kind of offer me exactly what the land and the businesses were kind of worth that's sad anderson's house everything he built yeah but sometimes you gotta make the right financial plans i mean of course like i still have all that grain in the bins they're thought that that's that's gonna be sold like the crops that's on the field that'd be two three hundred thousand dollars right there lost in just crops yeah. in the field and, and, and like the reality is if the community is already approving the zoning, it's only a matter of time before they force the deal on you. I wonder if that ain't who Happy sold to. Because you know, Happy told me and said that he came back to the cows. He just gave me the cows. No. Yeah. He said that the other place didn't want them cows. So he just gave them to me. I bet it was. Because I kind of got, because what I heard is he no longer has a debt. So he, he sold it, made money to pay off the debt and take some back home with him. Yep. Wow. Wonder what I could get for that land. I need to look into this. <laughs> I don't know. Like, pardon me. I don't want to leave. Like, we built our roots here. I mean, I know. I know we had that bad accident back in the Yukon. Flashback. It's the only thing we know these days. Oh, oh. And of flashback and i know we had had all that stuff but i mean i think this right here would be really you know I mean i don't know it, it's gonna it's something to see well, all this happen mr anderson's land it, it would but if they're gonna like I, the county or the city might force it on you eventually anyways do you wait for that and hope the dollar amount goes up or it could get to the point where it gets to the courts and the it goes the down committees and everything yeah exactly it ends up being less because you held out you know i'm not going to make decisions for you but my goodness that would be hard to say no and then plus i I can go back to Iowa where this all originated from. No offense to New York. I don't like it too much. Everyone's unhappy in New York. That's what New York is. I still don't know where I'm from, and it's just, this doesn't feel like home to me. I was just kind of you don't know here where you're from you guys yet? Here. Did the hospital never talk to you? They didn't have much information on me. I don't, I guess I didn't have, like, dental records or fingerprints. I'm not sure. I Maybe I just 
my memory is that bad now? I don't know. I don't remember anything from the hospital. Did you ever get your wallet back from the hospital? Uh, I don't think so. You might want to call them and ask them about that because they gave me back my wallet. I've known where I've been from. I just didn't know any details. You know what? I got a better way of doing this, okay? Instead okay. of sitting here okay. trying to do this, we got this, okay? Come over here. I got me a frying pan. You ready? Yeah. Okay. You okay? Ah, uh, that hurt a little bit. You remember anything yet? Uh, Nate? All right, let's try it again. Who are you? Try it again. I remember something. I hope you remember this pan hurts a lot. <laughs> the pan, that pan, the pan does hurt a lot. And I'm probably gonna have to go back to that hospital before, but, um, Nate? Yes? I'm from Iowa. There's a big surprise. You are? So we were driving in the Yukon and there was a big red barn. And I kept saying, that looks familiar. That looks familiar. That yeah. looks familiar. I had a barn like that on the property that I own in Iowa. There's no way it's the same town that Happy's going to though. I mean, you never know. We should find out. I want to find out. How do I do this? Do you, do you do remember that? Hold on, hold on. I know the one he went to was Tahitian. Okay, that is, that does ring a bell. Tahitian. Yeah. I do remember Tahitian and I remember the high school there. So I'm... I think I want to go home. Well, I think what we need to do is if we want to go home, we need to kind of go choose like one piece of equipment each. And I go from there because um, I think my trailer, I mean, we can only take one trailer with us. We could fit a couple pieces on there and it would make sense if we picked stuff that we would be able to share with each other. Here's the bad part is we can't really take equipment. We got to take tractors only. Why? Because equipment is cheaper to replace than a tractor. I hear you. I hear you. You know what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Implements you know are cheaper than a tractor is. You know what I want to keep? What? I want to keep my John Deere with the antennas. I got to keep the 5020 because you know that was Mr. Anderson's first ever tractor, right? I, I don't I don't blame you. We'll, we'll make him proud. Hopefully. Probably not, but we'll try. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. All right. We'll um, try. Um, let's go ahead and go get everything packed up, ready to roll. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. So what we got to do, we got to take this back over to the co-op because this was rented from the co-op. Really does suck we're having to leave and go to Tahitian. But you had to go full blast sometimes. And uh, I believe that it'll be a good, wise decision for us to go there. It's to just kind of drive it up on in here and park it where we need it parts. And then they'll take care of it. So now we got to go back to the walk all the way back to the park. All right. So I just want to kind of go over like what all we're actually getting rid of. Because me and him did discuss that we, we got to take one tractor with us. I know like around about everything should give us like 1.9 million dollars is what I'm looking at with the, the equipment. But what I'm also doing is I'm doing the land exchange. So I'll just be exchanging my land for land back over there in Tahitian. It's just going to be really sad to see everything go. I guess I'll sit here and wait for my buddy. And once he gets here, we'll finish up what we got to do and get knocked out. All right, let me fire up the old John Deere 5020. I think Chris said he'll be here any minute. I think, actually, I think that's his tractor right there. Hey, I just got back. Can you lower the ranch for me? Absolutely. Are we not taking the 72 Ford? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I guess I should have brought that over, too. Yeah. I'm going to go for a swim. I'll be back. Hey, swim, buddy, swim. Doo -doo -doo. You talking about this old Ford? Yeah, that old one right there. That's what I'm driving to Iowa. How bad do you think we're overweight? Um, probably a lot Gee, this could get a little wobbly a little well it's a ford pulling it i ain't too worried about it the last time we'll ever be at mr anderson's farm well chris i figured we might as well stop by the place where we first all started at nate yeah should we try to catch one more fish before we go that's what i'm thinking yeah many mornings spent here gonna miss this place oh yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely miss those morning fish sandwiches one yeah. two three yeah Chef boy, our fish. That's not funny. That was a bad joke. Nowhere but up from here. Yeah, we gotta go. That's a long drive. I think we delayed it enough. Exactly.